Listen, guys, from opening the doors, you guys have been here from the time we have started to right now. Give yourselves a round of applause for so much love. That is a lot of love and a wonderful way to start off, of course, our Tech and World Tour in Rev Major 2019. I want to show the world right now just how passionate Filipinos are. Raise your hand. How many of you have held it for more than an hour just for some gold ass taken? Who has not gone to the bathroom for more? Look, raise it up. Raise it up. Look at these people right here, man. They have sacrificed their bladders to support Tekken. That is wonderful. Are you guys ready for some more? We're about to get started for your top 16. It's only going to get better from here. And to give us the hype, Give it up for Mark Man and Rip. Make some noise. All right, all right. We are yeah. back here live from Manila, Philippines, here for Rev Major and Rip. We are finally here. Whittling it down to our top eight, but first, we got the top 16 to go through. And we just looked at the list. I mean, there are a lot of amazing players here, mm -hmm. but only eight of them are going to make it through. Exactly. Some absolutely ridiculous matches about to come your way. Making his way to the stage right now, we've got Rox Dragon Chanel. Who is his opponent going to be? Oh my gosh, it's Team Yamasa's Nobi. That's what we're going to be kicking off our top 16 here today. I'm pretty excited. Yeah, and this is the winner's side, so one of these two players will make it into our top eight. But who's it going to be? I mean, I talked about this with you earlier mm -hmm. off stream, and I know you kind of mentioned it on stream as well. Chanel has been waiting for a moment to just explode. And right now, he's in prime position to lead the way, representing not only Rock's Dragons, but also Korea, to secure himself a spot in that top eight. And you know, throughout the entire Tekken World Tour, he's been doing such a great job already, placing in numerous top eights, placing in numerous top threes as well, but he has yet to win a tournament. Exactly, but last week, you know, he was on the winning team in Master Cup. That's true, that is true. It might be his time, man. But I mean, no B, he got that season three upgrade, right? He did. He definitely got a season three upgrade. But Chanel also has an Elisa season three upgrade. Wait, so is that the matchup you think we're going to be seeing? I think that's what we're seeing. Look, the Elisa's getting Elisa hovered. Oh my the god, match. it's the Steve Fox. Wait a you minute. You were talking about the season three upgrade. We got the Fox. We got the season three downgrade for this one. Let's go. <laughs> All right. But yeah, Chanel looking very focused up here. Very impressive match against Eugene Boys. Gigas earlier. Brought it back. Oh, closed yeah. it out. A very close set earlier on. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I'm looking at this matchup, and there has to be a strategic reason behind this. I mean, obviously, we know that Nobi can always go back to Dragonov. It's not final. He doesn't have to stick with C the whole time. It's a race to two. Loser has the option. But let's see. We're in an open stage to start it off. That's good for Chanel and Elisa. Round one. That back dash is going to be important here. Let's see what happens. Game one. Yeah, this is a, a character that obviously Chanel is familiar with. One of his training partners, me. Very, oh my gosh. But new stuff. New stuff is going to work. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. All right. Nice combo there to start it off from Nobi. Into the stomp. Look Man. at that. Quite a lead Damn. early on into the running two. Yo, Nobi with the instant running two. He, he's good at those. Yeah, he has. I think he has that motion down. Mm -hmm. But a great first round there for Nobi. You know, I wonder if this is part of the strategy. You just throw Chanel off by bringing out the Steve Fox. I mean, I think most people would have expected the Dragonov thing. Yeah, I mean, I mean, that's what we were thinking. And, you know, because Dragonov is so, so much better, I think, in this new version of the game, we kind of expected that. But maybe he's saving it for later. It could be. I mean, throughout the most of season two, he was running Steve Fox. So that's a character that he's actually currently most familiar with, probably. Yeah. Chanel right now, though, answering back solid. There you go, ties it up, one apiece. Three. Fight. All right, starting off with the Albatross spin. He's kind of spaced him out there, creating space for his coat. And one of the things that we're still going to see with Steve, no matter what, is his use trying to bait these counter hits. Those counter hits are going to be big time, and if they're able to land, it's going to get him a lot of damage, even without the walls. Yeah, Hold for poke right now, but Chanel's getting the upper hand here. Look for that back one, no counter hit. Oh, there it is, though. He's gonna leave Chanel in rage here. Has an opportunity again. You have to be careful for the rage drive. And he was able to snuff it out with the whole 1-2-1-2. One, two, one, two. It's almost like he whipped it from far enough away to bait it out. So here we go. Potential final round for Kenobi. There we go. Have an opportunity. Now he's playing with a bit more compact. Big uh -huh. counter hit though. Oh. He dropped the combo. Did not get the opportunity there. But he's still looking in good position. 
how much worse is Steve Fox? That seems to be the question today. Because a lot of toppers are still running him. He's still putting in work. Yeah. Ten count, no. And the thing is, Nobi, the way we're seeing him play, he's playing very, very aggressive. His persistence is really kind of wearing down Chanel. And again, persistent with that 10 count grab. Chanel, though, defense is solid. Life bar's about even. Again, with rage, the sidewalk into the drive. It's enough. Able to tie it up, and we're going to our final round here, match number one. It seems like all Chanel's matches go to play. Pulls out the chainsaws early this time. All right, goes with the low option here, and I like what I'm seeing from Nobi here. Starting to chop away at the legs. Whoa. Oh, whoa. whoa! That is not definitely not a combo. I don't think that's what he wanted. No, he was probably sir. trying to do the bigger combo, but kind of slipped it up there. The magic for Chanel. This might be enough damage. It looks like it will be. No, to the tiny pixel. Oh, this is big. Oh, this is huge. Because not only that, if he does land a rate, oh, oh. never mind. Chanel closing it out. Game number one to Rock Dragon Chanel, the Elisa. And I think he's going to go back to character select. I mean, at this point, I think he's going to probably want to bank it on his character that he's been using the longest Welcome time. To the Man. I mean, it looks like that's what he's thinking. Very curious choice for Steve Fox, but he was up two rounds to one. He was going his way. But there it is. Dragon off coming back. Damn, I love this new music. Yeah, it gets me hyped, man. It gets uh, a lot of people excited. Get ready for the Season next 3 update time. available now, of course, if you've uh, been away from Tekken. Now's a good time to jump back in. If you guys are watching at home, make sure you guys let people know twitch.tv slash Tekken. This is our top 16 winner's side. One of these two players will be moving on, but which one right now? Chanel having the advantage. Exactly. Going to Mishima Building now for game two. I expect it to go all the way down to the wire. All the way down. That's the gift that Tekken keeps wow. on giving, right? Always, right? That's where final final rounds come in. That's where good ass Tekken's part. Right now, wow. Trying to restrict the movement there. Goes to the homing move, able to land. And right now, I like how Chanel's playing. Chanel is playing a very annoying low style. Mm -hmm. oh, man, look at Nobi. Annoying low style. How about some running twos with that? You like that? Rushing assault. Yeah, he's trying to serve it up. Oh, God. Uh oh, oh he's back. Oh, double up. The wall hooked him up. Check the hole off the wall almost. That's what it looks like. Look at T4 style right there. Oh, yeah. Fight. Got the magic wall slide into the counter hit. Counter here comes down. Chanel. Now that should hit the wall here. What kind of mix up are we going to see? Goes for the mid option. No, we can't back, but no, here's a wall flat. And that's going to hurt. Oh. A, a ton of damage as he spins around in circles. Beautiful power strike, does not knock down. Backswing blow from Nobi! And this could be huge, but the side walls are kind of messed up. Walls. And the mix up, what's he gonna do? Oh my gosh, he got him no, out of the air. He did it! 50 50! 50 50! Oh god, the down jab! And it beat out the low swipe there with the razor, and great stuff from Chanel. Able to get the counter hit that he needed, and right now, again, Nobi not afraid. He's trying to go in. Bro, these running twos are crazy. And I feel like Chanel's gonna let him get away with it, and eventually he's gonna just hit the sidestep. And that's the thing, see. It's a much easier to sidestep than in previous versions of the game. Mm -hmm. So Chanel, a master of movement, we already know this. Oh, yeah. Alisa's movement in general, just very, very good. And Nobi using the tracking on the back, too. And the down, too. Trying to keep Chanel in place. It's working out so far. He does have a lead, but now Chanel has rage. That access to the rage drive could be big with the 2 moly. 1 3. Closing it out, able to get the low hit as well. And look at that, we're taking it to the roof. Nobi might be able to tie it up here. Yeah, Chanel, here we go. And Justin to see gets the low parry. Oh, this is big right at the wall here. One mix up of goes to the mid. Doesn't put the full extension out. Wow, almost had it off the sidestep. Somehow his off kick whipped. Oh, we're going the other way now. Yeah, this running is low. Good position for Nobi. Oh my gosh, the low swipe is going oh, in. Nobi, the Dragon Off Master is back. Yo, season three. Should have picked him first. Should have picked him first. He, uh, he looked like he was in total control of that matchup. Like, Chanel right now is going to be sticking with Elisa. It looks like we're going to open wall save. That's his choice. We're going to the infinite Azure 2. Yeah, he knew right away that's exactly where he wanted to oh, go. Yeah. Didn't waste any time. I mean, that could kind of play out into. Dragonov's advantage as well, especially the way that Nobi plays him. Gives him more room to run forward. That's true. He didn't really get any wall advantages. In fact, the wall kind of screwed him up a few times. Yeah. So we'll see. It's going to just be a good old test of wills nice. here. Who's going to take the momentum? Who's going to control the spacing? And of course, who's going to get the lethal hits that they need? Round All right, one. Final game. Fight. Oh, right underneath. 
Chanel. I feel like Chanel's going to be coming out with a lot of interrupting low attacks. Mm -hmm. Kind of like what he was doing early on in the second match. Oh, here comes Nobi. Man, Nobi doing such a great job of stopping Chanel from sidestepping. Very methodical. You can tell that Nobi actually studies a lot of the options that players have to get out of his frame trap. I mean, don't forget, Nobi beat Ao in like the first Evo for Tekken 7. That was one of the best elite players in Japan. Yeah. Oh, the sidestep, and Yo, that might be it. that was sick. Oh, what a sequence there from Nobi. Round and two. now he is in the lead here Fight. after being down early on, picking Steve Fox. Making a nice comeback here, and look at that conversion here. Not gonna do a lot of damage, but just showing that he can do it. Oh, he attacked this time from Chanel. Oh, beautiful poke and spacing from both players right now. Ducks the high and gets it with a one to one counter. It Nobi in control right now. Chanel's got rage, he's gotta make something happen. Great block. All right, good stuff. Goes to the low here, he's still alive. Oh, but the aerial skate, look at the conversion here. Not gonna be able to do enough damage. One mix up can do it though, for both sides. Oh boy, and Nobi's got the red dress. He's good to go. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Not again. Why is it always Nobi? Why is it always this? What's gonna oh, happen? Oh, Russian assault. And he jumped on him. Round three. Look at that, final potential Fight. round here for the set. Beautiful back end. Get the hop kick for the whip punish. Yeah. Oh man. That's one. Set it off here. Gets it again. Oh, the God, beautiful. Hey, hey. And a very distinct change of plan here from Chanel. No, okay, the perfect. Waiting, waiting for these openings. He was opening things up with lows. He was waiting for a reaction out of it. But now taking things into control using that back guy. Yo, Chanel is crazy. Pretty good. Now he's making it run to him. What's going to happen here? Oh, he's getting wild. I like it. It's party time. Uh-huh. And he's still. Oh. Damn! The bar fight? Ugh. Good get up here. Great option. Duck nice it. duck. No one! I oh. thought he was going to go for the hop kick at the very least there. Woo! The down forward too! I told you he was going to go down all the way, Mark. And what are we here at? we go! Final, final round! Chanel versus Nobi! Winner makes it into top eight! Nice again, using the down three, try to create more offense, but look, a float into the screw. What's he gonna do with it? Here's Oki running two again. Oh god, nice side step that time. Oh, oh the vertical! The jump. Look at the patience here from Nobi right now. In full control. Chanel's getting a side so there's no punishes off of him. This is a dangerous area right now because he can get Elisa with a few more pokes into rage, Ooh. but that's where she's going to be dangerous. The down two is going to close it out. Nobi clutching it out there against Chanel. Great shirt from Chanel, but Nobi makes it into the winner's side of top eight for Rev Major 2019. And it's another strong performance from Nobi. You know, the past few Master events and even Challenger events that he's been to, he's really put on a show and he's been able to qualify on the winner's side of a lot of these tournaments. And it's kind of like a, a new angle or a new storyline that we're seeing on the TWT, mm -hmm. that Japan is back. They're back. You know, they were, they were kind of being slept on yeah. earlier in the year. Like, where is Japan? What happened to them? And then but out of nowhere, back. We saw at the Korean Master event, they had more Japanese players than Koreans in that top eight mm -hmm. in this year. And even at EVO, there were more Japanese players. So we're seeing maybe, is it a changing of the guard? I don't know. I don't know what's happening, man. But right now, I can tell you the Yamasa boys are playing very, very well. They are doing very well. But we have another, oh, goodness another crazy matchup. <laughs> yes, we do have another crazy matchup. We have Mr. JDCR coming up to the stage. Who is his opponent going to be? It's got a cherry and a berry, maybe a mango in there too. Yeah. Korea versus Korea. That's uh, quite the smoothie. Yes. But we're going to see these two guys go at it. JDCR, no stranger, of course, to the Rev Major stage, uh, able to win it two years ago. Mm -hmm. And now he's back here in the Philippines. Let's see if he's able to do it again. JDCR earlier today was using some dragon off. That's what he's hovering over immediately as well. I, I, I kind of want to just ask him, so like, hey, JDCR, how does it feel to have all your characters approved? In yeah, season three. Every one of them for you, season three. You throw the winner side of the bracket, how odd. <laughs> the Cherry Berry Bango, we have not seen in quite some time at a Master event. You know, he really traveled a lot early on in the TWT for this year. Kind of right. took a little bit of a break, but now he's back. Season three, Jin, a new facelift. Jin has uh, some Jin's improvements right here and there, but also Cherry Berry Bango probably having a new different outlook on his play style. 
Yeah, he's forced to now, right? Because of the changes to the character, you can't approach the same way you did in Season 2. So you've seen these players adapt and use new cheap tools that their characters had that they didn't really need to use as much in the past. Yeah. And it was this one should be a doozy, and we're starting it off in an open stage. And again, this is going to be just a test of who's able to take advantage early on, who's able to close it out. It should be noted that, of course, JDCR has won many a tournament throughout Tekken 7's reign. Mm -hmm. But Cherry Mary Mango really hasn't really won a big one yet. Yeah, he's very close to versus fighting earlier. That was the first match event of the year. I believe he was top two, top three in that event. Yeah. Losing Super Kuma at the end. Yeah, he also he got second place, but then there was also uh, Evil Japan where he got top three, right? Uh-huh, that's right. Hasn't had that breakout moment just yet. Breakout win, I should say. Counter it, forward four, look at that. I thought he doesn't give a combo anymore. Yeah, I mean, it combos when he does it, but he missed the <laughs> follow-up there. Yeah, it's hard. It's much harder now. Yeah. It's, it's, it's all about dedication to making sure that you transition. Let's see what he does here. Oh, oh wild God. rising, too. That was good. That was really good. Should be able to close it out. Easy. KO. Nicely nice. done. Round two. Taking that first round quite convincingly Fight. here. Yeah. Not too many mistakes on JDCR's side. And oh, here we go. This is going to hurt. Counter hit that time. And what he misses. Is? Yeah. Oh God. Look at that. That is so sick. It's kind of uncharacteristically there. Dropping the combo. Giving Cherry Berry Bango an opportunity. Yeah, this match is kind of interesting, right? Because if Jin actually carries that Russian Assault running too, he can actually get like a can-can on, on his side, right? So right. that parry could be very useful here later on. And the throws, man, they've been landing throughout what we've seen so far, at least throughout the entire day. Round three. Especially that bar fight grab. Mm. Fight. Right now, JDCR one round away from securing that first match. Yeah, he went for the crouch dash one. It's one of the, the things I love about JDCR's dragging off pull. Oh, man, here we go. Yo, what the hell? And the thing is, we see a lot of, you know, start of the round. Very, very mango will end a big combo, but then it kind of falls apart. And that's been the tale of the last two rounds at the very least. Right now, JDCR in rage, giving him more opportunities to deal more damage. But is he going to be able to land the hit that he needs to, to do it? I'm coming out of clutch, low parry. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Throws Dangerous. out the leg. Round four. Fight. Cherry Berry. Oh, man. JDCR really restricting the movement option that Cherry Berry Mango has. Chopping away at his life bar right now. Double dash, trying to get something out of JDCR. JDCR gives them nothing. Whoa, what nice. Fuck? But no punish there. Looking for this opportunity again, just outside of the range. I like it when Cherry Berry Mango's kind of just doing a half dash in, waiting, trying to create space. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Into the rage drive immediately. Get all the damage you can. And that was with no wall. Damn, oh what the hell? Gosh. What a combo. Oh, blue stuff right back at you. JDCR. Takes game one. Yeah, JDCR not phased at all by that amazing rage drive combo and uh, OK option. He just that was, was like, cool. that's cool. Let me do this. <laughs> what stage does he want, though? He started off with no wall, but it looks like he's he leaning definitely towards wants the wall. wall. Stage. Yeah, he did so good at the wall, right? Especially now that he has improved wall carry. Mm -hmm. He has an amazing wall bounce attack. That's true. There's a lot of things going for him. I mean, it would help him out. I mean, JD, we all know JDCR is a master of movement. He likes to sidestep. He likes to create opportunities instead of just standing there and blocking. Yeah. Having a wall to his side will kind of restrict that, and it'll, it'll probably you know make things a little bit easier for Cherry Berry Mango to kind of trap his opponent into running into a lot of his attacks. That's a great point. But you got to land him, though. He might just stand there and block. You never know. Yeah, it can be very hard to do, but here we go. Geometric Plane for game number two now. Newly sponsored by Illusion Cherry Berry Mango. Going up against unsponsored JDCR. Round one. Fight. Right. Just like that, has him kind of near the wall here, just from pressure alone. Good positioning for JDCR. What a tough. Okay, don't test me. Uh, those. Except the combos. Don't yeah, test the combos. Yeah. Test the combos more. <laughs> oh, nice. You try to catch him. KO. That's the best. Again, Round just that superior spacing, Fight. knowing when to throw out the attacks. Everything has been working out in his favor. Yeah, it seems like TBM is just hesitating ever so slightly on everything. Yeah, kind of JDCR kind of just one step ahead every time that he's throwing out an attack. Yeah, exactly. JDCR is controlling the pace a bit, and CBM is forced to react the entire time. But right now, he's looking pretty good. 
Wow, good positioning again. So, situational awareness there, knowing that the throw break will be inside. Oh man, the low jab, able to put a stop to the pressure. Oh, he went for the wall bounce, and that's a messed up the wall bounce probably. Yeah. Has an opportunity here, what's he gonna go for? Oh boy. Doesn't get anything out of there. Could have had a punish, but... Oh, Beautiful that's big. Should be dead. Great. Should be enough. Oh, oh my it was god. so close. Oh god, okay, the bat too closes it out. I was very scared from right there. Oh yeah. Three. Fight. DDM on the board. Those are the situations you want to avoid. Low life, opponent in rage. How you shave a few years off your life. Oh, what Woo! a sidestep. I like that. Nice can't get kicked. He goes for the wall carry. Into the nice. savage sword. Look at that damage. Two throw. There's the break. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, again, that's a good position switch there from JDCR. Yeah. Right, that was probably the whole intent of the grab. Yeah. Oh. LLR. Hey! KO. DBM bringing him out. He hasn't been doing that much. No yeah. L sweeps. Fight. And of course, this is big. This is something that he needed. Oh, there's a follow up. Goes to the wall standing one time. Oh. Uh oh. JDCR pushing against towards the wall, looking to tie it up. What a sidestep. Damn, he's looking good right now. Set point for JDCR. To move into top eight alongside Novi. Nice break on the command grab. Yeah, also a two break that time, got it. Damn, what a block. What a punish as well. Oh. Look at this, JDCR again extending his lead. Taking time positioning now. This is good for CBM, he went for the wall bounce. JDCR went under it, get that down too. Oh, nice. That's big, the low parry could change the momentum here. He's gonna push towards the wall. Doesn't have raid though. I like the wave away, wave, but wall bounce! What a setup there. Is Look at the dead? damage! Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> Didi wasn't even in range! I told you that wall bounce is ridiculous! Man! And now we're tied up! Yeah, CBM able to bring it here. Looks like we're going to the stage select. Like, what is he gonna pick here? Is he gonna go for an open stage, you think? Maybe. I would do it. He definitely did. Man, I love though. After he did the wall carry combo, he just wave away to get back in his face. That was beautiful. So CBM tying it up with that regular gin. In the open stage now. Mm hmm. This is uh, probably the optimal positioning for JDCR. He wants to be able to move, like we mentioned. He likes to create opportunities to create attacks against yeah, his opponent. Up. But Cherry Berry Mango has to have a game plan in mind. Oh, definitely. I have a feeling Round he's going to go for moves that are harder to see Fight. and that track. He's got a parry. Yeah. Why isn't he parrying? I don't know. Maybe he's saving it for the end. You never know. Could be. Maybe he wants the running dudes to come he out. He tried it. Uh huh. Nice. Went for the grab there. Able to duck right out of it. Yeah, two one didn't actually reach. Second hit. That was interesting. JDCR, man, his movement is so crisp right now. Backdash is just enough to create space here, then also sidestepping in case he needs to evade something. How did he block, though? Oh, look at that, point blank. Dude, JDCR, when he plays like this, it's ridiculous, right? Like, how are you supposed to beat that? And it's crazy because, you know, I don't want to say it, I don't want to jinx it, but this is kind of like shades of old JDCR right? from a like year and a half ago, where he had such a dominant reign over the TWC. Not over just yet, though, man. People have been rising up. Hey, ain't that the other game? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, starting off, he gets a low berry into the combo. The follow up. Hop kick! Yeah. Good stuff. Cherry Berry Mango able to, to get the interrupting three. hop kick, knowing something was going to come out. Yeah, he's got to loosen up. When he's loosening up, he's playing better. Yeah. Again, the hop kicks are coming out. Maybe he's this like, is the answer he needed. Yeah, shades of old. We sure some new gin. Damn. Oh, big counter hit. But again, JD Scar with the, the mini sidestep here, just creating so many opportunities for himself. You have to be careful of the one hook risk to get him. Oh, man. CBM's defense is looking good right now. 
Good chair. So many mids now. Ooh. Oh, he went for it there. Now Damn! Oh the crowd dash one, and that should be that for the round. Yeah. Very, very Mango definitely tried to press round something there early on. Got hit by the counter hit. And now JDCR sitting pretty right now. I don't know, man. It's going to be tough. Yeah, it's going to be very difficult, but it's not over just yet. CBM still has a good chance here. How does what he a block? Punish. How what does he punish. block? All the down fours. It's part of his regimen here. He's sidestepping, he's ducking, he's creating opportunities, and he's blocking at the same time. It all happens in the blink of an eye. Yeah, CBM dropping the low parry combo there. And just like that, JDCR is all caught up in life because of it. Yeah, you would think Dragonov has a bigger right leg because he's been stuck sidestepping right the whole time. <laughs> he is definitely working that sidestep, and it's working out to perfection at this point. <laughs> and man, JDCR keeping it close here. Thank Lodge, a good win for either player. He's trying to catch him with that hook fist. He's oh. unable to get in deep enough. I Need want to see him go up the deep, Damn, deep. Face deep. Face. Oh my gosh. Oh, Hopkins to the limit. He's got to hide nothing this time. Five seconds to go. And JDCR going to close it out with the down forward one. JDCR moving in to winner side top eight. Spacing and racing to the top eight. I like what I'm seeing here from JDCR. I don't want to jinx it, but he's playing, he's playing crazy. Yeah, at CBM, he had one crazy moment there, right? He ducked the high at the end of that round, but he didn't punish for once. Like, yeah. the other times he had done it earlier in the set, in the second game, I believe, he got the launchers on it. But that time, just too much pressure. I feel like he kind of got, you know, a bit too comfortable throwing out the hop kicks as well. He went for They were working. Towards the end. Yeah, they were working. I mean, if you land two hop kicks, might as well what, do it again, right? And he didn't die from it, so no. it wasn't like a terrible uh, risk yeah. at that point. So, But JDCR obviously out. had a read. He didn't run into it this time. Yeah, that's definitely true. And so JDCR moving into the winner's side of top eight. CBM not out of the tournament though, right? Yeah. So he still has his loser run, still can make it into the top eight here. Yeah, and up next we have another Korea versus Japan match with two very young, very sharp players. And it's going to be Fate Ulsan going up against Liquid Gen. Yeah, this is definitely a battle of the youngins yeah. as far as, you know, extremely high level tech goes uh, from these regions. So. Ulsan, we've seen him win Damage Germany. Yeah. You know, we saw him using some Bob earlier, brought up the Kazumi, and looked so clean with the Kazumi after that. And here's Gen, who's been playing pretty well himself, but you know, yeah. he just came off of his Match Cup Tri victory last week. Uh, but in this tournament, he looked a little shaky. He did. I mean, you know, we, we saw a little bit of him early on today, but you never know. I mean, he could be one of those things. He looked very shaky in Master Cup Tri as well, but he was able to make a, a huge comeback run out of losing side topping and winning the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Shaheen. Oh, yeah. And his style, Shaheen, in Season 3, it really benefits his play style. And I think going into this matchup with, you know, kind of slightly tweaked Kazumi, it's going to play out in his favor. It's really going to be, I think, on Ulsan to see how this goes. Yeah, this is going to be very, very interesting. Let's see what happens. Liquid Gen versus Fates Ulsan. Shaheen versus Kazumi, Brimstone and Fire. Damn, they both are like shaking their sticks. They both are kind of nervous up there. Yeah. Yeah. They need to shake it off. I mean, I don't know. I want to see him party right at the start. <laughs> you think so? I, I, I want to see like a, maybe not that crazy. You're not going to see that from these guys. No, these guys are very, as you mentioned, very clean players. And look at that. Starting it off with the 3-2. Great, great. These, these uh, oh my god. Ooh, that was, was that a whip one on a jab? I feel like it was. I feel like he had a good read on it. At the very least. Yeah, I gotta like sharpen my old man eyes to keep up with this match. Yeah. Alright. Able to put the brakes on there. Do you go for the 4-1? Whoa, slidey, slidey. Hard to punish that. Yeah, sidewalk slide. Yeah, who threw who? Alright, has it right by the wall here. Ulsan in rage right now. They're both in rage. Whoa, man. Oh, what a sidestep. Oh my god. Die! No so. knockdown! That and change the, is huge! The long leg Round two. of Shaheen. Fight. Well, yeah, you thought it was interesting there. As the Tiger came out, it doesn't knock down anymore, but it creates a mix-up opportunity because she can go to fly state after that as well. But of course, Babu still works on the wall there. Yeah, I love the homing attack there from Gen. Keeping Ulsan in place. Break her leg. Yeah. Crunching away the ankles. That low is so safe. Yeah. Nice, right, trying to create these opportunities. I like what Gen's doing here. Gen's actually letting Ulsan come in, and he's trying to sidestep and create opportunities for himself. There's a the slide. He's going to get the follow up here with the low kick. He does have rage. Let's see if he's going to utilize it at all. Nice attempt with the slide, but great block from Ulsan. Great drive punish to close out the round. Round three. 
one. This could definitely be one of those long, drawn-out matches. The Kazumi special. Yeah. Might also be the Shaheen special. I feel like it's both. I think it's these these players' play style here. They're not gonna take they're not gonna take huge risks either way. Flash punch combo. Uh oh, switching it up here. Good punish there. Has him at the wall. Good positioning, but the slide to get out of there. And now, again with the advantage kind of here with positioning. Yeah, the slides have been paying off for him. I like the stamp. He didn't confirm there. Oh, what a wow. What an amazing punish there. Grady, that space and holds on right now. Round up two four. rounds to one. I would Fight. like to see Gen maybe take a little bit more risk here. With what? Like a crouch dash? With the slide? With the hop kick? I mean, it's it's it's, it's, it's hard to react to. It's right. maybe almost impossible to react to for most players. Yeah, I feel like right now this is all conditioning. This entire first game for both of them. Nice down four to one check in. Oh, got him. Yeah, quite mid that time. Nice. Using that low, trying to create an opportunity to get in. That fishing, both that fishing so hard. Second hit landing, and look at that, slight leap for Gen. Outside of range, Wilson. Uh oh. Doesn't confirm the counter. Range oh! Mode's gonna connect! Yeah, and this is big too. He's gonna go for a big combo here. He's gonna get the wall? No, but Mix the run up. Wow, he's missed! Look at that first match here between Fight. these two. Korea versus Japan, we're at the final round. You know it. Defense, the ball player is so crisp. Slow combo? Oh, yes. man. I didn't think he got that. That yeah. was pretty. Did Pachi kicks follow up here, chopping away at the legs. Right now, Ulsan with the life lead. Not just that, but he also has his back to the wall. Gen's gonna have to be careful here. Oh, man, he just. Dude. What happened to her life? Drop it on him. Just flying out of the creating space. Gotta watch out for the rage drive though. Damn, I can't we thought that 4-1, but doesn't matter. Single jab. The Ulsan special, man. Doesn't matter. Bob, Kazumi, long range jab. Give it to me. I can control space with it. Yeah, that's the thing. If you can control the space with the left, you can control the world. Able to dominate with the jab, you can stop almost anything. Looks like he's gonna pick the stage here. What's he gonna pick? I mean he's all right, all right, interesting pick here. Twilight Pond. Get ready for not a large time. stage, not a small yeah. stage, but it just right. It's got the balcony break there too. Yeah. Kazumi's new combos look really cool too. Yeah, they do actually. She has a lot of new options, and of course her wall carry is probably even more insane than it used to be. Jinpachi kicks, I like the name. Yeah. Twilight Conflict, game two. Alright, here we go. He's gonna come Round down one. to match number two right now. Ulsan is up 1-0, looking to secure himself a spot in our top eight. But again, still staying alive right now. They trade a jab and a running Ooh. two. Wow, yeah. that's gonna hurt big time. Yeah, yeah, I was talking about them maybe, you know, conditioning the first game, the second game getting a little crazier, right? Both of them. And a little looser out there. Oh yeah, right now he has good positioning. Let's see what he does here at the wall. How is Ulsan planning to try to make the comeback? Wave drive gonna get a little chip there. Oh, oh really? boy. He watched the whole thing there. Look at this. What kind of mix up? Fly to nothing? Yo, I like the fake like rap? <laughs> oh, he ducked a little bit too early. And Ozan is right back in this round now. He just got out of frame of the cameraman. That was, I don't know what he tried to do. Was that a back blow? I could have doubled because he was right there. Yeah. Right there, doesn't confirm off forward three. Live block though. And a nice punish as well. Gets the wall. Look at this. Hey, hey Tiger. For your troubles. Man, Thatcher kick. The damage. What is that? Minus 13 now. I believe. Wow, that was pretty. It's big two again right now with the big combo at the wall, but the side wall still messes him up. But he does have rage. You no, know, he hasn't even gone for a rage drive once yet. Yeah, he hasn't. Yeah, he has to. It must be in his mind that you know he's not gonna do it unless he knows it's gonna hit. He doesn't want to have to risk obviously the follow up. Exactly. I mean, I wouldn't want to test Ulsan of it either. His reactions are ridiculous. Load combo to the wall. We go. 
Hey, hey. Stay up here. Green splat, follow up, other side. Oh, boy. Oh, this is going to hurt big time. Oh, Anthony did the fly over this time, but he did not tech roll. Was not able to continue the pressure. Oh, my goodness. Went for the hop kick. And now Ultan has a chance in this round. This is looking like it's all Gen a second ago. More chip, 50-50. Still low. Nicely done by Gen. No fear, they're able to do it right now. He is looking to tie it up here. If he's able to win one more round, he's going to tie up the set. Oh, wow. Did you see that with one? He's so good at that. Ulsan footsie spacing is immaculate right now. Again, he does have the, the lead here in match number two. Yeah, those dash kicks are going to add up. They see Ulsan, he's, he's committed to mixing it up now. And much heavier mixes before. Nice whip punish again. And his spacing game is ridiculous. Look at them. They're just dancing in the middle of the stage looking for who can take the advantage early on. It's speed versus speed at this point. Yeah, Ulsan looking by the flash punch combo. Twin piston with Danny 3 2. Whip punch. Low parry as well. Why not? Yeah, the most important thing here if he gets the wall, he can end it. Yeah, he's going to end it. Set point for Faith Ulsan. Final round. Fight. Will he be able to move on? That's the question. Nice. Goes for the back two there. Able to get underneath there with the wall rising one, too. And look at that. He had the opportunity, but did it a little bit too late. Run up low for again. Works out. Hey, hey. Nice combo. Nice. Wow, the trade of the magic board doesn't get a combo because of it. Decided to burn the rain. Oh, and a oh, big running, boy. too. Oh, boy. Gen's in a bad position right now, even though he has the lead. Looking to close it out, looking to tie it up, and he gets it! The float out of the air, I believe he went to fly stance. Yeah, and, we'll and look yeah, at that, Liquid Gen on the scoreboard, tied up 1-1. Yeah, Ulsan has got to that a few times now, where he flies away, flies right back in. That time, Gen ready for it, down forward one, into a potter out of the air, float combo for the win. And of course, you gotta take the advantage here, you gotta pick that stage, and right now, Ulsan leaning towards a no-wall stage. He wants to be able to move here. Does not want to be restricted by the confines of a stage or a wall. Hmm. It's pretty interesting. I feel like he's done really well by keeping Gens back against the wall. Yeah. I think, you know, more often than not, I call this the Korean classic. They feel like they have the movement, the spacing. They go oh, to the okay. open stage. And they're able to hopefully play things into their favor. I see. It's an interesting theory. Round one. We'll see how it goes. Mm -hmm. Fight. Nighttime, sun's about to set. You got the starry skies. Beautiful. Okay. Hey, hey. While rising 4 4, able to land there. And the flash went down. They're always locked and loaded. Man, there is a flaw with Ozan. I don't even know what it is. Hey, man. He is playing so clean. I feel like, you know, a lot of the stuff that he gets hit by is not stuff you can really react to, anyways. But he is playing very, very solid. Look at that again. Point blank with plenty of throws at the tiger. Yeah, don't test me. I will duck that every single time. Yeah. Round two. Seven days a week, baby. And a flash punch combo, you know, it's been doing enough damage. Wow, and again, dude. Man, Ken is good at that. Single jab, dumps on it, gets the hop kick punish. Nice, goes for the punish off the jab. Let's see what he does with it. Right now, the life lead is with Gen. Gen obviously wanting to get further in the tournament. Let's see if he's able to do it. Again, only one of these two players will be able to make it on winner side top eight. Uh oh, oh nice block. What a risk, though. Goes for the slide, pulls out with the block. Doesn't get the combo because of it. Gen gets the round. That's big to tying it up. Yeah, two. This is final game. Yeah, otherwise it would have been 2 0. Oh, just out of range. On his ass. Goes for the mix up, goes for the godness, it looks like. Beautiful sidestep right, gets the launch with the down forward two this time. Surf it out. Uh, the slidey, the follow up here. Oh, what a duck. Great presence of mind knowing that new attack, knowing the properties of it. He's a professional. 
What a Double. duck and what a putt. He Both ducked side. both of them. Oh, what a low parry, though. Yo, oh, that should mistake. be enough, right? It might be. It could be. Let's see how it goes. It, it does have a sliver. I have a feeling it will be. Yeah, Otsan gave it a nod. Great. That was the nod of, yeah, that's going to kill me. Round and just four. like that, set point. He I had it. Again. Yeah. We could have been seeing another match completely. But right now, it's all on, it's all on Gen. The pressure. He's definitely content with just using those quick down forward ones. Doesn't want to take a big risk here. Damn, man. Dapper one's right back at it. This is the best. Oh, what did it miss? I don't know, man. That was that was a bit off. Oh, wow. Part of the intercepting object. <laughs> nice block, but not able to get a launch. Yeah. But also recognizing it is off action. Get the damage you could get. Rainbow yeah. now get to go to winner's side of top eight over Ulsan. Yeah, this is a very strong performance. Oh goodness, still falls there. Jesus. Scary moment with okay. Yeah. Ulsan still in there. Impressive, I mean. Both of these guys. Amazing reflexes. It could have gone Crazy. either way at any point, but he was able to clutch it out. He carried that momentum from that previous round that he stole away mm -hmm. using that Rage Art combo and just was able to carry it through. Yeah, and now he's sitting crazy. on winner's side. Yeah, Gan has been looking great. You know, I mentioned he looked a little bit shaky in the tournament, but that's all the match go. Even that said, right? It looked like Ulsan was in control, but Gan, you know, clutches it out, gets the W. That's what matters at the end of the day. Yeah. Looks like up next we have a battle between two very, very strong Korean players. It's going to be last year's EVO oh champion boy. versus last year's Tekken World Tour champion. And last year's Rev Major champion. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. Lohai on the stage going to be going up against Rangchu, newly sponsored by Amplify. So UYU versus Amplify here. And as you mentioned, Korea versus Korea. I don't remember they played at the World Finals last year. I don't. Did they? I don't remember. I don't remember these guys playing each other that much. Yeah, like ever, right? It's, it's like, something that we don't often play, see. right? But he's got the hamster now. The panda is the hamster now. Uh, I don't Pan, know. Ham panda? Panster? I don't. I feel like it's gonna end up being like some kind of weird website you're not supposed to go to. You know? Oh yeah, don't, don't <laughs> listen to me. Oh man, but yeah, this should be a good one. Low high and rank you. All right, looks like they are going to the wall stage. We got the geometric plane locked and loaded. Is it? Uh, is it what we think it's gonna be? Is it Shaheen versus? I didn't see the, the bear. Big, I think I saw the half the colors on the screen. Okay. So I believe we got the panda. Oh, it's law. Okay. Surprise, surprise. Wah, wah, wee, wah. That's like the third character I've seen Lohai use in this tournament. Yeah, he's used Steve, he used Shaheen, and now Law. All right. He must have a battle plan. Let's see how this is going to work one. against the big uh, Fight. former panda. Uh-huh. We should be able to get the wall here. Oh, yeah. Wait, hey. Let's see what kind of pressure we're going to get. Nice. Great option there. Oh. That one did a lot. Yeah, that one did seem like it did more, right? I felt like it. I felt like it compared to the first yeah. one. Round two. Quick first Fight. round for Lohai. Tried to delay there. With the Hunting Bear sense. Follow up here. Right now, everything is just landing for Lohai. Yeah, Ranky, you have to start an offense. That was the first bit of offense we saw out of him right there. Low parry is good, though. Hey, hey. Uh -oh. Got him! This is big. He's going to be able to push towards the wall here. And look at this. After the... Oh! Yes, Got him. Could have been a counter hit. That would have been bad news. Good break on the throw here. Look at the opportunity. And you're not going to pull that off, man. you got to make sure you land it. Side up on rounds. One round apiece. Thank you. Blow out the gate. But look at the whip one. It's ready to go. Bing, bang. Boom! Oh man, counter hit, second hit. Might have been just normal hit, who knows? Oh boy. Wall carry, yes sir. Oh, that might have been guaranteed there. Yeah, it definitely looked like four. it. Two rounds to one, low light with the advantage right now. What a step. Air stance canceled. Uh-huh. It's interesting, you know, he's been just out of range out of a lot of these posts here, but finally, wow, a low parry, not gonna work. Look at the punish, nicely done. KO. Man, the rounds have been so one-sided each round. way. Yeah, they've been beat down after beat down. Fight. Will we see another here in this final round of match number one? Okay, the jab string. 
Kind of challenging him to react here. No high though. Early oh. lead. Not gonna fall for it. Good punishes. And a big lead now for Law here. Final round of game one. Damn. Yeah, he wanted that big counter in there. Neutral hop kick. Oh, Not boy. able to get it. What a low break for Rank. He got rage already, too. Yeah. Bends it. Nice. Goes with the hunting bear. With the follow up here. What's gonna happen? Oh, my. Okay. Wow. Watched it out low high. You win. I mean, that was too tough to call. I mean, like you said, it was so momentum based that we thought. Low high at it, then all of a sudden, Rob Chu was able to pull it off, and they're going to go straight into it. Right no back. hesitation. I am the law. Fight. Judge Dredd, though. Yeah. Nice duck. Able to still get the conversion on the combo here. Now, Rob Chu having this on the wall. What's he going to do? Into Oof. the booty. Now, switching, uh, switching sides here. Yeah, we don't want. Oh my god, how did he hit it? It worked. The tables have turned. I don't understand. Nice. Counter and combo follow up here. It's going to do a lot of damage here. Oh yeah, but it's not going to be enough to kill. The rank oh, oh my god, I take it all back. Damn it. What? what? Round two. Wow. That, that hurt. I mean, he's got a lot of life. Steve's mouth is open still. What, what happened? Was, what? I don't know. I told you guys, lost top three. Pega's life bar, from what I know, has been fluctuating throughout the match. <laughs> <laughs> it must be that suit that he's wearing. Yeah, he's got hamster life? Yeah. That was crazy. Okay. Follow up here again. The dive in. Chopping away at the legs, and you know, good punish. Wow, he went for a parry there. Ranked with the hop kick. Has an opportunity, he goes with the double low swipe. Uh oh, here we go, low high. It's all on him. He has no life left. Oh man, the pressure and just the high rank you. Defense takes off. Man, these are back and forth, back and forth. And I like how they're not playing so so dry. No. They're, they're taking the risk here. That's the thing. They're either gonna hit hard or they're gonna get hit back. Okay. Oh. That's an interesting flipping vertical that time. Nice again. Going to the low swipes. Rock to again. Back to back to back. Oh man, the thing that started swinging to rank his favorite beautiful parry from low eye though. The sliver. Damn girl, he went for it. He bet it all there. He really wanted to end it out. Right now, Rangshu looking to sign up one round away from doing so. Hey, hey, that's the Rangshu I know. Yeah, and now he's gonna push towards the wall as well. Oh, Berserker Barrage! The follow-up, look at Rock 2, he is on fire right now. I'm telling you, once I saw that back dash, oh man, it was over. You win. Dancing on him, hamster style. Yeah. Are we going to character switch? No, stage, stage select. select. Oh, He's going to stick it to Law. And the classic, going to the mm -hmm. open stage. How does that work? <laughs> that doesn't make sense in this battle, match. Battle, battle. <laughs> So it's gonna come down to this. It's gonna be Law versus Panda. See, man, you know, you know that Law wall combo nerf hurt. He yeah. chose, he chose no walls against the bear. Ah. It's crazy too, because you know, like Round Panda doesn't one. have the best wall carry or the ability to change his combo so he can do a better wall combo. That bear's a barrage, man. It's yeah. got too much damage. Like, I don't want to deal it's with that, bro. It's a mental thing. It's a mental thing. But right now. Red pants equipped. Let's see what Lohai is able to do. Yeah, catch him time. What the hell? Yeah, the, that's usually a wall carry combo. Oh, he messed up the launcher though. Rachel had the duck. That was a huge drop. Spike, follow up here. Oh, no. he let it rip. And look at that punish. And you never see Rachel just like commit to like the first two hits of a string or something. He's like, nah, I'm doing it all, man. They're all coming out. The pressure right now from Lohai though, chasing down. Dragon Hammer non-stop. Yeah, man, he is just putting on the hurt. Oh, big counter hit too, and this is gonna hurt a lot. Not gonna kill, but let's see what kind of mix-up he's gonna go for. Mix up, going for the low, and look at that, Rong Chu ready for it. Yeah, those wild stand fours hurt. What is that? There you go. Holy balls, he's back in, but back one, two. Extra range now, that's one of the buffs. Yeah, and it was counter hit too, it looked like. 
fight. Would have closed it out either way. Two rounds straight for Lohai, looking to get into our top eight. What will he be able to do? Will he be able to duck the beat? Wow. Right, nice one for the low. Instant running slash kick, but the interrupt. Damn, girl. The conversion. Range is trying to find open here. Well, I finally slowing down a little bit. I take it right back. The and hop then, kick. Yep, that's gonna be it. Wait. Oh god, yeah, he's wow. waiting. Run by the cop. I'll the readjust. The scary. You win. Aloha, getting it done there. Overranked you. With martial law, might I add. Nice yeah, design. that puts us in a very interesting situation. So we kind of know who's gonna be making it on the winner's side. But man, it's gonna be tough because I believe next we're gonna be taking a look at what's gonna be happening on the loser side of the bracket. Mm -hmm. uh, do we have the players coming up? Because Not the, losers are, the loser bracket is crazy. It's the always crazy. The loser bracket is nuts. Because they go home when they make it to the top eight. Yeah, with like two but matches the, too. These, the guys in the loser bracket are some of the biggest names who are around. Well, I know Ni and Taki are gonna be playing each other. We also have iMusician, who has been playing out of his mind this entire weekend. He's going to be playing against Double. Double, that's crazy. And then we have Chikorin and Kudans. And we have Woo. Junding versus the last Filipino standing Vermillion. Wow, so the last Filipino standing Vermillion is going to have to go up against Junding to try to make it into this top eight. It is not going to be easy. No, definitely not. You want to do it or you no, want no, me you to do, do it? it? <laughs> Guys, we are going to be... Back after a short message from our sponsors, but we are going to get ready for, of course, more top eight qualifier matches. We'll be back in a bit. 16, still going strong, mm -hmm. but I get to talk to my boy Rip. What it do, Ooh. man? What it do? You guys ready for the rest of this top 16? Make some noise. That's all I needed to hear. We're trying to get down mm -hmm. to this top eight. We need Sunday to be godlike, and the matches are, have been, they've been so good. Damn, they've been so good, but here we are. We yes. got another banger mm -hmm. on the stage right now. Is that Rock's Dragon? Is, is that who that is? It looks I like Rock's Dragon's knee oh, going oh, up oh, against oh, Yamasa's oh. Take. Take been on a terror. He's actually been beating the sleeves <laughs> off of people. <laughs> this is loser side, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, sir. Loser side of the bracket to make it into the top eight. Take lost to Eugen Boy. Oh, Gigas earlier. Man, that dude is a menace. I swear, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put a bounty out on Eugene Boy. If he, if he's at the LCQ, I don't LCQ, know if he's still in. Is he still in? No, he's, he's not, not in. He's not. But when he comes to the LCQ, I'm telling you right now, I'm putting a bounty. On. <laughs> I'm putting a bounty on him. Why you hate him so much? He beat us at Master Cup. I man. remember, he but he's awesome. I remember. It was awesome. It was man. a week ago. I mean, did you not see his matches today? Come on, they were so yeah, they fun were to watch. Yeah, they were actually They were god. Like, look, I said I hate him, but I love him. He's yeah. like that, you know, that pet that you keep. You no, I don't. I don't understand the, the reference. No. About the pet? No, you don't have pets. No. You don't like pets. I mean, my pet don't be all over the place. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you didn't have it when it was a puppy. These guys yeah. get set up on the stage. So how have you felt about the matches that we've seen here today? They've oh, been course, pretty dude. god dang good. I mean, considering man. that today it was just the pool there, right? We're just yeah. working our way down to the top eight. It's still been ridiculous. You know, and John Ding, we saw him lose one of his first matches. He's still in the tournament. Look. He's been playing the entire day long, and he's still here trying to make it to the top eight. Look, he's been traveling so much, I'm really not surprised, right? You know he wants these points. So he's going to turn it on whether he's on loser's or winner's side. John Ding still in his top 16, looking strong. <laughs> but when you lose early, you've got a long road ahead, man. That means nobody can doubt your resolve, man. The fact that he's still in on loser's side, when he's going to win the tournament, they're going to say, yo, that John Ding guy, he definitely didn't earn it. Wrong? If I, if I remember correctly, though, uh -huh. I think John Ding actually lost to one of the Filipino players here. And that's a sent to the loser bracket. And I think... The player he's got to play to get into top eight is also a Filipino player, correct? Oh, so it's Vermillion. Yes. Oh, it was Vermillion that beat him. No, 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 no. Vermillion's got to play him now to get into top eight. Oh, Early, I don't wow. remember who beat him. Hapon beat him. Oh, That's what it was. Okay. Yes. Okay, okay. So, he might go out to two Filipino players here. That would be crazy. That's, I mean, like I said, I've been saying this all day. The Filipino scene is super, super strong when it comes to the world of Tekken. I've been telling mm -hmm. people this ever since I came here two years ago. I'm like, look, if you look at the Filipino players, the minute you play them, you understand how bad they want it and how good they are at the game of Tekken. So I'm really not surprised. Now, yeah, without a doubt, it looks like they're still setting up their sticks. Looks like they're good to go now. I see them going to character select. Take versus Ni. Nee. I'm trying to remember what happened the last time I saw these guys even play each other. You would remember better than I. I, I would that not. Right now. <laughs> My memory's terrible, Steve. That is actually true. That's very <laughs> true. Memory. I, mean, I feel like they must have played like a hundred times. Right. We probably commented in most of them. <laughs> All right, but here we go. Top 16, still going strong. Take versus Rock Dragon. 
of the big play that the PWT Iron Fist final. Alisa Boskanovic. That sounds likely. Mark Matt said they played at uh, a match a couple, couple years ago when Nee picked Brian when he wasn't really using Brian. So is Nee going to use Brian again here? We saw Nee using Brian earlier. It's season three. Look, Brian is buff around these parts. In the season three parts. <laughs> these parts? These season three these parts? season three parts. That boy Brian is a beast. Here we go. It is not at all going to be hell? Brian. That is, who the hell is that? That's Elisa Boskanovich. That is Where's not Chanel? Brian Fury Where's at all. Chanel? What the hell's going on? Chanel's got questions. a wireless controller. Check Chanel's right. wireless controller yeah, right bet. now. I want to see his hands at all times. Low high. I want you to watch Chanel. Make sure he never <laughs> touches the controller. <laughs> all right. Hammerhead, let's go. Me with Elisa talking yes. with the Kazumi. Round Game one. one. All right, here we let's go. go. Fight. <laughs> Quick side step to start it off. Oh, this is so bizarre. This is super bizarre. But you know, I'm saying this happening. You talked about how I was able to play Paul. It's because my little brother actually played Paul. And all I had to do was look at him. I'm like, I know exactly how to play this character. So I remember that it's a gameplay. I feel like it's not that hard. And these guys play with each other all the time. Yeah, but why? Why, Elisa? I never understand. Here we go. Right now, Take looks a little bit behind, but he's chopping away. He's down yeah, for what's coming out. Dancing a little bit. Oh, trying to go for the punish. Just a little bit out of range. Get back. Slow to keep out. Nice oh, what a punish. What the? That was crazy. Time winding down here for this first round. Taki get the flash punch combo. Trying to corner knee up against his wall. Your knee a little bit of trouble. Five seconds to go. Not in rage. Can make the rage come back. And Taki get a steal. Oh, oh my crap. Gosh, this Yo, is no, he did it. Is it enough? She hit. Yes. I think you're back dashing. Enough? You're back dashing. Know, no. You're it? back dashing. What the hell? Oh. Was... Yo, me still got the What's Chanel doing? That is definitely something Chanel would do. <laughs> that is know. definitely something I don't Chanel know, would man. do. <laughs> All right, me with the first round clutch rage art. When did he get rage? Damn. That was crazy. And look at how Take is pushing me to the wall right now. Oh. Man, I can't even hear you in my ears. Are you on? Yes. Yo, yes. You're good. My bad. <laughs> Oh, they're down four once. Just check it. Nice. Switches to the lows this time around. Oh, down four one two. Finishes the string. And getting closer and closer to their wall. Take, that offense is looking too good. Flash punch combo. Yeah, pressure at the wall now. Knee with the homie attack with that back three. 20 seconds of men. These are a lot of time rounds right now. I mean, that's Taki's place now. You know, very compact. Doesn't take huge risks. Really works the clock. And again, knee with rage now. 10 seconds to go. Bringing it back. Poke for poke. Shoot shot. 50-50. Oh. Doesn't oh, go for it. And the low. stature kick. Oh my god. Round three. Take Fight. answers back. Single jab keep out from knee now. Oh, with punish. Nice back dash cancel in there. Get out of range. Punish with the wild standing four. I dig it. I see you, knee. Look at the defense from Take, though. But look at these defense. He's not getting hit by anything. Lee's defense has always been really good, though, right? Coming from that spacing, the way he moves around. He, he does not want to put himself in range. But the low parry coming from Take. Going to get the wall with this one. Tony. Oh. Yeah, woke up with a power crush, too. Switch it to those lows. Oh, down for a one, two. Big damage on the wall, but the wall's flat too low. Not able to get a follow-up. Oh, it's no. Correct the combo. Here comes the rage drive. Goes for that big tracking mid, down 4-1. Slowly but surely get to the wall. Perry. This is not going to do enough damage. Not even going to give him the lead either. Shoe oh. shine, but that's going to give him the round. Yes, knee. sir. Round four. Beautifully done. Knee taking the lead. Fight. Two rounds to one here now. Running two from talking to start it off here. Round four. Get the tackle. Get, get off. off me. Mama Kazama. My favorite. Oh. Attack. Yeah, both of them just moving, trying to figure out where Dylan's gonna go. Oh, oh, nice. Quick ducks up close. Man, Lee's defense definitely not working out so much. Take once again to punish on the low. Yeah, Take's defense has been very, oh my god, so good as well. And now rage again. Man, he's always the first one in a rage. Here comes the drive again. No 50-50 after, no fly mix-up. Rage available for Take. He has that rage drive ready to go. You know that wall's be behind me. Mm -hmm. 
And you can see him trying to like sidestep to get away oh, from the chip. seven seconds. Chip from Five the drive. seconds. Chip from the drive. Chip damage. And here we go, final Fight. round, game one. Fight. Second move right there. Ducks and throw. I love that Nii is actually trying to corner Take to get him to this wall. Pressure him to make some of these moves. Gets the magic four. Gonna get the wall. Oh, uh, uh, uh. Hey. Tony. Goes for the mid. Right oh. two, beautiful. Take with the lead. Your final round, game one. He has been spacing the fact that he cannot punish that is killing me right now. This is so back and forth. Oh no, rage for Kazumi. Can't make any big risks right now. Almost 20 seconds left on the clock. Oh, that three. Just tapping on the crazy. legs. Life is about even. Get the counter. Hit. Oh my god. 50, 50. Boost up. The mid. No go. Oh. The rage. Drive getting a hit for Take. Did you see how Take reeled back in his seat once he got that rage drop? I mean, he was getting down on the wire again. He was getting to that same kind of chip range kill situation. You know, he had to make a move. Me gonna run the rematch here. Sticks to the Elisa. This is loser bracket action. Oh, wow. Me facing wow. elimination oh. before the top eight. Fight. Gonna bet it all on Elisa. And he didn't do too bad, right? Still went 2-2 two -two in the round count. And running two. Once again, just positioning. What a sidewalk. Wow, finishing the whole string that time. Small whip punish with the one, two. Knees back to the wall. Taki's feeling comfortable right now. Oh, the Beautiful. power crush. The jab. What a block on the low. Jeez. He has to. The wild standing one. Didn't commit oh. to the string. Full crouch down three. Flash punch combo. Taki oh. looking strong. Round two. Taki looking really good right now. And he's not deviating from his game plan. Digging to it. Nothing big. Nothing risky. Back in the home attack, poke him down. I just feel like Take can play this game so well. That slow paced game that he's playing, I feel like Take is playing it a little stronger right now. Looking for it, trying to get me back on that wall. Oh, what a sidewalk. That was so good, but wow, more, look at it. Where more is he walking, going? more walking. It's a 3D game, bro. Use every dimension. Oh, one no go. Another one. Man, these quick side steps keeping me in the game right now. He is down a round and a game, though. Yeah, he's in trouble. He needs this round. Like, he desperately needs this round, and he's in rage right now. Ten seconds to go. He is going to be behind here. What the? And Take not trying to give it to him. Ooh, oh, the win. For that. And he's always spinning that rage drive really early. There's the power crush. Two seconds. Ten, Take four, with one. the lead and the round. Set point for Take. Round three. Fight. This attempt, everything on the line here for Nii. Oh my god. Knee in danger of going out of the tournament right now. Team Yamasa Take. Picks it up. Yeah, Take, he's feeling so comfortable right now, though. He's got this huge lead to work with. He can go to the down forward ones all day. He's like, try to step me. Just try. And he just keeps pushing Knee to this wall. That down forward one, keeping him honest in so many situations. He is chilling right now. He's got that tiny pixel of a lead. He's like, you know what? What are you going to do? This ain't your main. Up, oh, not anymore. He's doing the knee. lead has grown. Oh, he almost had that forward three for the whip one. It didn't find it. Only attack to stop me from moving around. And me is in trouble. Oh, big trouble. 15 seconds left on the clock. And you see Take setting in, getting comfortable. Testing him with the one once. Once again, spins that rage drive. Not looking good. He's gonna need quite the series. Five seconds left on the clock. Four, Goes for the power crush. That should do it. No rage available. Take gonna chill and hold back. Take eliminates Rocks Dragon's knee from the tournament. Wow. And Take gonna be moving on to the top eight. Like I said, man, things are getting nope. hard. The closer you get to this top eight here, it's gonna be more difficult. Not to the top eight. Another Not to the top eight. Oh, Loser snap. Side. Okay. My, oh, this is Lose side. Yeah, excuse yeah. me. Excuse me. Oh boy, so coming up next though, this one is a match I'm super excited to see. We've got another Rocks Dragons boy coming up. We got iMusician going up against UYU's double, the Crazy Law versus the Crazy Yoshi Mitsu. This match is gonna be fun. Yo, iMusician has been like making me my jaw drop all day. Mm -hmm. All day I've been watching him play and he's had some ridiculous matches. And I feel like it's that season three kicking in because 
every character across the board has more staple damage. Yoshimitsu has always had the mix-up. He's always had the movement and the options. Now he's got the damage to back it up in Season 3. That makes his character so much more deadly. Yeah, Yoshimitsu definitely so much fun to watch. I'm Musician, he's got to be my favorite player to watch currently. This I'm Musician, That's a, it's who in the name. Man, who set him down loser back? I remember, you know, he beat AK, and next thing you know, he's fighting AK again because he <laughs> lost to someone. But now here he is, very, very close to making it to the top eight. Just needs to get two more wins. I'm trying to remember who he lost to. We can pull it up later. We can pull it up later. Or someone else can tweet at us. You know, they can let us know. Yeah, this is true. This is definitely true. Mm -hmm. Double looking really strong after that match, especially with uh, uh, Jessen, the, the King Armor King player who was looking really good until he ran into Double. But Double, definitely one of the favorites here, right? I mean, if he's still in the tournament at this yeah. point, he's already in that I'm trying to win the tournament of phase, course, right? Man. I'm trying to remember who put Double into loser bracket. I don't even remember. Was it Eugene Boy? Was it you? I feel like it might have been. Really? That can't be right. I don't know. Somebody yeah, tweeted it, to us. It's, this tournament has been absolutely ridiculous. There's a lot of matches that we didn't get to see. You know, because you gotta, there's only so many matches we can show you at one time. But I am here. Good to go. Double stepping up. This guy's good to go as well. Martial law. This one's gonna be a good one. So how do you feel? How do you feel about this matchup as a law player? I don't like it. Yo, I don't, I like, don't it. like it. I thought the law can't get done. Yoshimitsu. I get so confused against Yoshimitsu. Yeah, it's and hard. You know, my Yoshimitsu practice comes from Just Frame Games, who is a nut. You know, I mean, I would love to see Just Frame Games and I music to play a Yoshi versus Yoshi match. They'd yeah. both be pissed off at the end of it. <laughs> They get mad at each other the whole time. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Stop it. You stop it. No, you stop it. All right, here we go. I feel like no teching is the name of the game versus Yoshimitsu. Though. It's like it's so scary. And on top of that, you have walls to deal with. That means it changes the Oki game completely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially against Yoshimitsu. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Loser's bracket action. Top 16, Rev Major 2019. Man. Masters event here in the Philippines. Wow. Season three. The first season three Masters event, mind you. I'm pretty sure we've seen like every character in this tournament. Back four. Man, he is not shy about using that spin, even though it takes life away from him. Ow. Flash. Oh my god. Is that a punish? I have, I think so though. I, I mean, he's pretty is. confident in it. Oh, just kicks Fair. him off the balcony. And he's gonna walk into that wall. Wow. What a sidestep by double. Why is he so familiar with this matchup? Yoshimitsu can definitely get a little life back. Wait. He finishes the swing, kind of risky there. How did he flash though? Oh, oh and the forward one plus two for Ivy closing out that first round. I have a, do you think Yoshimitsu, if he, oh, the flash, hit the wall, and oh, wow. He laid the tech roll, just for the source of the mid, and he can still get the launcher after him. Gets the wall, not able to get anything on the follow-up. Didn't get the wall flash, oh, get out of here. Uh -oh. Damn, flash. that was tight. Yeah, put the sword up, oh, oh. wow, I musician, I music for your eyes. Yo, watch this, uh, you thought you had me? Right. Never Multi hit. <laughs> Great. Damn. Round three. Fight. Japan versus Korea. Two rounds on the side of I Musician. His flashes are ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Damn, nice block dragon. and launch punish right here. Wow. Look at the damage on the wall. Double no stays on the ground. Down four one. Gonna get the flow. He could potentially break this wall. Uh, no. Too low. The wall, Tom was dead. Oh, what right the? Up four, four. Dragon tail. 25 seconds left. Hits him with the miss. This is terrifying. I don't want to play. I mean, this is oh. this situation. Oh, no, did, did he hit a button? Hit a button? No. no button. Okay, okay. I forgot <laughs> that I Musician came back and won that first round. Two rounds to one on the side of High Musician. The miss. Call that Stephen King, man. Just hit him with the miss. Oh. God, the uh, spins are beautiful. Got to the back, breaks the wall. Didn't get the rest of that combo, though. Was with the off axis. Nice punish while standing four. Now four, three. Put the sword up. I'm gonna have to do it with my hands. And look at this. That up close scramble not working out for I Musician. Puts himself in range with the spin. God, that's so good. 
Get a little bit of health back too. Yo, he's too good. Stop the rage drive, no flash. Oh and get out of the way, suicide! Oh my gosh. I'm musician. I'm musician. Look at him. He's like, yeah, I do that and all he the knew time. It. And he knew it. Wow. Music. I gave it up. Music for your eyes. Music for your eyes. I can see the sounds. Get ready for the next battle. <laughs> I can see the sounds. <laughs> the notes, they're beautiful. The music, it's so nice. Oh, precipice of fate. Now, this is, I feel like this is still very scary. These confined stages are not good fighting Yoshimitsu. It's terrifying. Let's stay the double picks quite a bit. So the stage that he's quite familiar with. Those all the optimal combos for wall carry and everything. Here uh -huh. we go. Game all two. Right. Down four one. Ooh. He's be beating I mean, the entire round, but once he's in rage, it's a whole different game. And he's okay putting himself in rage using the spin. But yeah, you got me close enough. I'll put myself in from here. Uh oh. Oh, oh here comes the party. It's party oh time! Oh my gosh, gets the wall splat. The wall saves double. What the hell? Oh, that was definitely. Oh, oh my god, I'm four four. The throw Get off of me. Oh the flash! Why would you? Oh my god. Pit. Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> I am Bro, so mad! You can't do nothing about it! If he's about to die, you're about to die! That's how it works! He'll kill himself to, to kill, kill you! <laughs> oh. Back four, three, Ow. Back. But it doesn't matter! All this is consequential! Give the man rage! Now let's play! Gave himself rage. Oh god, okay! okay. That was good. And on top of that, that unblockable has so much range. So the mm -hmm. fact that he was still aware of it on the wall is crazy. Yeah, he sidewalked out of there. He was ready to go. Oh, wow. Full conversion. Okay. All right. Double. I see. Hey. Ow. That's no damage. <laughs> I like the cancel. Oh, Miyazaki. Uh huh? Uh. Here uh. go. Legend kick. Not going to get the wall. Still in that corner, though. Double Dragon, Billy yeah. and Jimmy. Very nice okay, all right, <laughs> all right, all right, all right. What? what are their names? Billy and Jimmy. Billy and Jimmy, the Double Dragons, I got you. Oh, Flash once again. Nice. The stilts, the sword oh. stilts. Man, he ducked it too. Get off. And you can see he was scared of both for the Flash. What? what? What are these moves? Oh Ooh. my god! Ow! Alright, that's not gonna kill. No. It is gonna hurt though. What's but now he's though? in rage. Yeah, this is the scary part. Oh, he uh -oh. takes the door back down? he can kill himself. The test trick from downtown! Get out! Oh, let's go! Double! Hold it on! You sounded a little biased, Rip. I just want you to know that. <laughs> you you definitely about? just yelled, let's go. I did. It was so exciting. Did you not see the cool rage art? I mean, okay. All right. I'm watching you, Rip. I don't believe you I for mean, you a second. I mean, you were grabbing my arm. It was because it was sick. Yeah, that's what I was doing. <laughs> nah, was nah, nah, nah. I'm watching you too, Rip. No walls this time around. Iron Magician doesn't want the walls. I don't understand. Doesn't Yoshimitsu doing pretty good at the walls? I mean, he does because of like, like those tech trap situations where he can set up those unblockables. Oh, plus the open stage damage Yoshi's good too. Exactly. But now you can see the double's already aware. He's actually laying on the ground to make sure it does not work. But there's still, um, there's still other unblockables that Yoshimitsu can't uh -huh. use in an open stage. He can use rainbow unblockable oh, yeah. on you still just to get the edge, even if you don't tech. Mm -hmm. Well, here we go. Final game. Loser is out of the tournament in our top 16 here. Red Major. Ducks it, but doesn't get the launch. A little unfortunate. Oh, banana peel. Block and launch punish. That's one that doesn't see the keep you close to the opponent now. I'm blocking. Oh, wow. The fake oh. out. Oh, wow. Gets the launch of the down four two right after. Got him. That's what, what we're exactly talking about. What I was just ta that's exactly what I was just talking about. That rainbow unblockable. You have to be careful. Tech or no tech. It's dangerous. Yeah, you, you're eating damage no matter what in that situation. And you have to be aware of it. That's all oh, nice. Oh. Block set up for a four. And double now is doing a good job. He's trying to bait out the flashes, but Ivy's just recognizes him. So he's not throwing out as many flashes anymore. 
can he put him sick if he goes into rage with spin can he heal back enough life yes. will he go will he lose the rage no. oh that's cheap <laughs> that is so cheap oh, flash him surprise Ugh. jeez and didn't even get rage from him that's so bad man the flash is coming back he used that flash like a parry yeah i mean it makes you respect the up close game especially if you're a law player right <laughs> And just poking away. Ten seconds left on the clock. He's out of there. He's out of there. One round away from sending double home. My musician looking good. Trying to stay in the tournament. Double. What do you got? There you go, Loha. I see you. ATP. There it was. There we go. Oh, oh down three. Lit, baby. Yeah, yeah. Double that was actually three. really good. Using the down four to bait him a little bit. Put some stuff in the raid. That was risky. That was definitely a bait. Yes, the professional baiter. High musician. Gets a little bit of life back. Goes for the flash. He just only dashed for it. No button. Oh, God. Okay, okay. Three plus four. Gets the close out. It's not over yet. Oh, Dragon Cannon, just to let him know. Good movement so far. Like I said, this open stage still works for Yoshimitsu. What? Three plus four. A little bit off axis gets Almost his back. Door. One, two, three. Beautiful slide. Slidey. Do it again. Yes. Oh, wow. Ah! Unblockable. Man, that's exactly what I was talking about. The fake out. Cancels into that flea stance. Oh. Is in trouble. Ah, the nope, nope. You gotta be careful. It and might be that end. might that be the be end that. of the day for UYU double. He's gonna be going home. I musician stays in, in the, the tournament. tournament. Yoshi Mitsu, baby. <sighs> Yoshi Mitsu, not quite into the top eight just yet, but he's making it there, Steve. He's close. One more match. I, look, if you go back and look at the matches that I musician has been playing all day, they've all had the same effect. Exciting close matches the fact that he's a loser side still amazes me we don't know who did it but damn they must be amazing i mean it's not the bracket we can find it right smash exactly GG. smash gg make sure you guys are uh, paying attention there and if you're watching this twitch.tv slash tekken is what you are doing right mm -hmm. rev major 2019 this is a master level event you guys still with me out there let me hear it <laughs> just making sure <laughs> just making sure of course and we it's... got another Crazy matchup coming your way. This is a guy Chikorin from Japan. He's pretty good. He's pretty nice. There's also this guy from Korea named Kudon. He's pretty nice himself. Look, all I'm saying is the fact that Chikorin went back to playing Jin lets you know, right? Like, that says something. Either he's not that confident in the geese. He's a character loyalist, Steve. That's what it means. He sticks to his guns. Is that what that means? What else could it possibly mean, Steve? <laughs> when you say possibly like that, I feel like it's a bait. It's going to let it go. <laughs> Kudon still in. This is loser's side. Yes, sir. Loser's oh, side of the man. Somebody's going home. Mm -hmm. Somebody is going home. Kudon's been sticking to that devil gym. Chicken in with that chicken gym. That's definitely a Michael Murray outfit. 100%. <laughs> <Kudon>. <laughs> no, no. The, the gin outfit. Watch the gin. Oh, I know what you're talking about. The checkered one? Yeah, the checkered yeah. one. I've definitely, <laughs> definitely seen Michael, Michael Murray outfit. seeing yeah. that. I've seen him wear that. The belt chain and everything. That, the that's checkered shirt. outfit, Michael Murray. You know, like. <laughs> that's what I said. Yeah. That's what I was saying. It's pretty cool, actually. I mean, not the checkered shirt part, but, you know, gives me that D.O. vibe. Undo some buttons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just undo some buttons, you know. All right, Mishima Dojo. Perfect stage. Setiaru. Quit. Quit. Round one. He has got the boots on and everything. All right, here we go. <laughs> I told you. Nice kiss the wild standing, too. Man, I don't know if they changed something about that Zen 3, but it's hitting on the ground, and it's actually pretty weird. One, two, three. Tries to interrupt. Down two. Savage sword to close it out. First round looking pretty quick. Yeah, Kudan, I feel like this is general. This is kind of normal for him, right? Like, slow start, builds it up. Then all of a sudden, all these health foods start coming out. Then yeah. all these electrics start coming out. And you're like, what's happening? I'm getting hit by everything. I feel like Kudon's is the one who started that, right? He started the whole look. I know I'm going to I'm gonna play, make you afraid, and then I'm going to pull everything out. Yeah, but Chicklin, he's not afraid here, right? A lot of down back cords. He's not afraid of that race kick. 
Okay, what are you gonna do, man? Alright, gets it. the one one two. Broken blade? I don't think so. Nice goes for the four four three. Does not hit on the ground. Nice punish there. With the fakey. Definitely almost had a parry right there. That knockdown would have meant everything. 20 seconds left on the clock. Yeah, a lot of time still. So neither player in rage, but there it is. Chick is rage mode. Gets elected for his trouble. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. Round Beautiful. One round of peace. LLR K. Uh-huh. Uh. -huh. Savage Sword. Does a small, a different combo right there. Knows he's gonna get the wall. Mm -hmm. Das Boot. The mid with the demon paw. Rewall split. Yep. Uh -huh. Heaven's Gate. From oh heaven. Oh my god. Oh, How rare is that? Kudos missed that. Checking him with the 1-1. One -one. Goes for one hit of that tsunami just to see if Chikorin's gonna take the bait. He doesn't. Look at the pressure. Kudos with the life lead. Round three looking better for him. Yes, sir. And that down back forward. Chicken still throwing out a ton. Finally making it with that forward four. Look at the comeback all of a sudden. Oh, oh man. Finish. Oh man, 15 seconds left on the clock. Oh my, he tried to whip one with an electric for that? Oh my oh, god, tsunami. the block! Oh jeez. While standing four. Round four. Nicely oh. done, man. That was tense. Oh! Oh wow. What, look, we waited to that next round. Pulls out the electric at the beginning. Dos poop. Hits him with an electric, gives himself a little space against that wall, too. Oh, looking for oh. that wall mount, but there's the hell sweep. Nice three ring circus to get the continuation. And there haven't been many hell sweeps and in this set so far. Oh, corpse thrust. Mm -hmm. Okay, Chick ran in rage. We saw what happened last time. Lots of poking. This time on the side of Kudans. He had the right read, just out of range for it. Last victory for Chick this round. Oh, There's a clutch low parry. Parry. I like the delay. Back to one. There you hey, go. Hey, hey. Yeah, that second one whips you get a higher wall splat on the first hit. On the second what a hit. parry! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Final round. Game one. Oh man. Mm -hmm. Hard skipping beat? Yes. I don't know if it's because I'm old or this match is that good. I'm pretty <laughs> sure it's the match. And that I'm old. Oh. Yo, oh, switch blades. The Chickering's gin is tight. I like it. Counter hit. Down back where it looks still a ton of damage. Yeah. Still good. I mean, if off access, you still get a full combo, though. Yeah. Oh, got him. Rushing nice. in there. Savage sword again. No, this time a little bit too low. Oh, rape kick. And Three he picks ring it up. circus. Only against the wall. Three ring circus. And here's the full combo. Wall to wall. Toss poop. Nobody's in rage. Uh oh, Devil Ten is though. Kudan's in trouble. I an electric so bad. Back to the wall. There it is. You got it. 15. Now one, two, three. The, the down four is blocked. The boot. Does boot. Oh my god, the down ah, four one. Kicker it. Three rounds to two. That was close. That was pretty close. Man. Why does Chickering never look like he's phased? He never looks like he's bothered by anything that happens. Like, oh man, dang. He wants Summer Jam. He smiled. <laughs> Like, yeah. yeah. I did it. <laughs> cool. Cool. Round All right, here we go. Fight. Game number two. Running it right back. Yeah, I think Kudos usually pick the stage when he loses anyway. Oh, wow. Go parry. Gets the knockdown. Run up, down, back four. Chicken really good at checking your pace. He's really good at checking your event. Like, look, you need to slow down. Just like that. Blocks the hill sweep. Full conversion. Yeah, this is why he has been doing a lot of health sweeps, right? He's ready to duck. What are you gonna do? You have to cancel the wall game too. It's much rarer. Trying to get away from that wall, not gonna work out. First round, game number two, going to Chikrin. Yeah, Chikrin is looking good here. Wow, now he's getting comfortable. Electric starting to get warmed up a little bit. Okay, flash punch combo goes for the mid follow-up. Tapping those uh -huh. legs with a down back four. The corpse thrust has a little delay on it, so it's probably gonna catch that side step a lot of the time. And you can see he's just ducking out of range. He's like, go ahead and hit me. Give me a demon paw. Give me a oh, laser nice. hit. Uh, I would have took the back two one, but it doesn't matter. Chikrin knows what he's doing. Demon steel pedal. The demon paw. Down back four is blocked this Whoa. time. Oh, rape kick. Dos boot. Why is he still alive? 50, 50. Why is he still alive? Oh my gosh. Nicely done by Kudos. I thought he was done before that. Kudos staying alive right now. 
Mix box. On the ropes right now. Oh, oh, wow. Pick it up. Beautiful combo from Kicker in. And he always goes for that stream to get the wall, oh. man. No back. Oh, oh tap. Oh. Do it again. Stop. Damn. Damn. Set point for Chicken. Round four. The quick turnaround. He hit him with four of those bad boys in a row. Yeah, that used to be a launcher for some reason on counter. <laughs> I don't know what you're trying to insinuate, Rip, but uh Hop I don't in. like it. Uh, hey, uh, hey. Wall. look at the wall carry. Uh, oh, look at the damage. Oh. Kudos is now officially in big trouble. Can he make this comeback somehow? What do I mean, you got left in the tank? It's possible, but not going to happen this time around. Kudos. Chickering staying in the tournament. Mixbox Kudos. Make some noise for Kudos, everybody. Kudos going home here. 13th place. Strong showing still for Kudos. This is a really tough tournament to be a part of. Mm -hmm. You can see that top 16 is quite representative of what's happening here. Oh, yeah. Rev Major definitely taking it up a notch when it comes to the competition. Almost 400 people in this tournament. And, man, we almost got our top eight set up for tomorrow, and it's looking We're good. We're getting closer. Close, we got another first round of top 16 match coming your way. First up, we got from Korea, UIU's. John Ding. John Ding. He's going to be going up against, I think he's from here. So you guys might want to make some noise for Vermilion. There you go. There you go. Oh, he's feeling good about that. I mean, he's got to be, man. This is where it matters, though, right? This is loser bracket action. Loser goes home. Mm -hmm. Eliminated from the tournament. John Ding lost super early in the tournament. He has been fighting all day. I, he must have played like 50 people. I don't even know. <laughs> But he's made it this far. Still two matches away from top eight, though. Look, man, John Ding knows. Like, I was telling Mark about this. Remember when he came out of nowhere and won that CEO? I ain't going to say he came out of nowhere. But it's, and it's not that he was a long shot. But I feel like it was more about the path than anything. But he still did it. He still, I believe he beat me at that at a CEO to get that uh, victory. Kudan. Kudan, excuse me. So that says a lot about what he was trying to accomplish. Mm -hmm. I feel like at any point in time, John Ding can come out and win a tournament. So him being in an earshot of this top eight is not surprising at all. Oh, definitely not. And, you know, I think he kind of like deviated. He played some other games the last couple of years. So yeah. Like, or last year, I should say. And now, you know, I think his focus is back on Texas. You know, now season three is here. Lucky Chloe's got some case, but sometimes he's bringing out Chloe, but primarily still bringing out the Eddie. That's what we've seen for the most part from him today. And he's played a ton of matches. He's got a lot of season three tournament experience at this point. More than most people in this tournament. Obviously, he came from Greece too, some more season three experience. I mean, that's the thing. This is the first season three tournament, right? This is the very first Master season level. three master event. Excuse me. Here's the matchup. Vermilion from the Philippines going up against John Dick from Korea. Loser goes home. Last year's champion versus the home countryman. And we're going to Geometric Plane. Devil Jim versus Eddie. Yeah. The classic outfit. Bono Soir. Bono Soir. Oh, counter hit. Pick it up. Got him. Half life. He's oh. weak. Sidestep, Dos Boo. Way Boo, Way Boo. Let him know. He's like, I'm not here by accident, baby. Practice one P wave who's all day. Wraith kick. Das poop. Oh, oh wow. Standing cancel, two. but drops the combo. Healthy back again. to health. He don't care. It's like you're gonna get hit by all of them. Oh boy. Oh, and what a bad draw for Vermillion. A couple times he could have had big damage on the table. I think he dropped three combos. Oh rodeo! rodeo. Oh, side step three plus four. And he was walking uh, uh. super far, still got clipped by it. Oh, tried to hit him with the drum line. Yeah, I like the duck there. There comes Vermillion now. Nice block. The, the power crush and still smart. ready for it. Yo, I think he knew that. Checking the legs. No rodeo break on the dead. rodeo. That, that, that is damage, baby. John Ding up quickly, two rounds to zero here in game one. I like the back dash. Oh, nice. While standing four. When a down 4-4 four, four gets the float on the wall. Oh. Heaven to hell. Oh. 
Checking him on the legs. John Dings back to the wall. Nice cancel power crush again. Works out this time. Gonna get a little space to breathe. Oh, Pooch didn't get the wall, but here's the health meet. Stars Pooch two times. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh. And he's got rage available. So you can die to do a rage drive 50-50 or spend the rage arc. Whoa, on the side, cross under. Punish. That quarter circle 4-3. Didn't find his mark. I don't, I don't know, think man. so. I don't think so. But here we go. Grimley not on the board. Get the first flow combo. Round number four now. Oh, takes Freak the Oki. Kick. Nice. Uh huh. Confirm. Yep. Gonna get a small combo here. He's really close to the wall. I like that ending. Oh. Goes for the mid out of relax. Oh, back one plus two. Quarter circle four three. Hits on the ground. Holy Jungle moly. Kicks, catches. Oh, oh that was the electric. Dash. Electric. dash. Ah. Oh, full combo. He's got rage. Get, get him kicked out. What the? Oh my god. What's the guess? The oh, low. low. John Ding getting game number one. Man, that was scary. The pressure is on from both of these guys. You can see Vermillion thinking about it. And I feel like he did. It was just a few times where he dropped combos that could have got him that first round. We could have had a different way for that to end. But John Ding keeping it solid, closing out the round. Gets that first match. Yeah, at the very end, they're both players in rage. You know, didn't get a spend hit. John Ding spent it first, got his 50 50 out of it, and that's yep. when he won the game. Oh, forgotten real. Yeah, that's what Vermillion chose for this matchup. Gotta be careful on this stage. A lot of floors to break. Mm -hmm. Construction zone right here, man. <laughs> About to be a wrecking on, zone. Right? Give us a kid. Bringing the wreck. Come on, kid. Are you just making up words? Fight. That's what he's saying, bro. Hell sweet. He can break the floor right now if he wants to. Oh. Another one. Yo, is he gonna do it again? Great kick this time. Das Poot. John Nick stops bringing the momentum with that spring kick. Oh. And now the flow combo doesn't break the floor. Blocks the mid option out of relax. Yo, race kick all day. I mean, it's working. Not a bad trade right there. Three ring circus hits one time and relax. Doesn't get the float to down four to stop the handstand mix up. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, slip, slip kick. kick. Uh uh. No, oh. not gonna get the floor break. The 50 oh. 50. Oh. And the dash is like a beautiful punish. Round two. Yeah, it gets in a god fist right there. The full input. Once again, that three ring circus is gonna work out versus relax. Even though that it's only one hit, it pushes away, so you lose that mix up. Man, I really like the wave that cancels in the wild standing two from Vermillion. There's oh. a punish! Oh. Beautiful! Are we going down? Yes. Going up, going down! Look at the damage. Oh my damn. Oh, Again? Again! 80% whatever! I got nerfed, I swear. They definitely nerfed me, guys. Oh, oh get off the of burst me. get off of me. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. I floor break. Counter it down forward too. Nope. No, he doesn't get it again. Wait, oh! kick. Oh my God, he's still it's alive. The limit. I can't believe that happened. Fight. Oh my God. Hell, Hell sweet. sweet. All right, all right. Hey, hey, are we going up? Going down. down. How about one more time? You're kidding? Uh, uh, heaven oh. to hell. Oh. Cancel? Yeah, I like that cancel. One of the few trigger. devil gems I've seen use that. Goes for a down 4-2. Tracking move right there. Two rounds in the books for Vermillion. Slip kicks. Not going to be able to stop that mix up out of relax. Oh, break that floor me there you go. Like, yep. Get this out of the way. All right, last floor. Oh, the nip up. New moves. Oh, power the power crush. crush. Oh, has rage here. oh no! John Ding still has a chance. Vermillion needs this round to get another shot. Yeah, he needs to close out. Back that. three, three counter hit. I Demon like Paul, I dig it. Down oh, back to get no. the tech. Yeah, that relax gonna get you this under. Oh, the wop of oh, the tsunami. Hey, hey. Oh, and the dashing electric on the tail end, just to let you know. Oh, he's enraged. Oh, the power crush. He definitely could have got the launcher. 
set point now for John Dean. He had it. He baited out the power but didn't get the punish. Set point, John Dean. Vermillion needs this round. Crowd, if you want him to win, you better start making some noise right now. This is a big last chance right now. Oh. He's still in it, though. Back, Back one plus two. two. Great kick. It's not He's looking available. good for Vermillion. Oh, the, the slider, counter. the counter hit. And John, John Ding going to move on in the tournament. Guys, make some noise for Vermillion. He is representing you guys damn close to that top eight. Amazing play. Devil Jin looking so good. Just a little mistakes there near the end. I mean, he baited out that power curse. That's what he wanted. He just didn't get the punish on. He got nothing. nothing. I mean, and, and we saw a lot of times in those earlier matches, he was doing uh, down 4-4. Four, four. First half of Tsunami Kicks gets a small float. If he's close enough, he can get a three-ring circus, right. but nothing big. But you're right. He baited it out and still didn't take advantage. But it's a very tense situation, course, right? It's, it's extremely difficult, obviously. You know, obviously, the, the tension gets to you at a certain point. You're facing elimination. It's the final game. You know you need it. It's hard, man. It's very hard. So Definitely true. Million, 13th place, tied to Kudons here at Rev Major 2019. But we're not done just yet, Steve. Oh, man. We're not done oh, just yet. Oh, man. More international battles, right? Mm -hmm. We got Korea versus Japan coming up. Amplify Rangchu versus... Oh, my God. Versus Yamasa's Take. <laughs> and now, Steve... We're at the point where all these matches make it. I was just eight. about to say, this is all top eight matches. These are all top eight qualifiers coming your way. Rangchu versus Take gonna be the first one. Dude. Yes. Take <laughs> has been playing so well today. That's why I'm at a loss, because mm -hmm. we always see Yamasa come out and represent, right? And they're always around that top 16 area. And I feel like it's always one or the other, maybe two. And, there, and right now, Take is the person I'm looking at that's playing so well. He is playing so well. I'm hard-pressed to see what's going to slow him down. But Rangchu is sitting on the other side of the table. Tasty in my heart. Amplified, Amplified by the name. In real life. <laughs> Tasty in your heart, Julius. In my heart, man. In my heart. He knows, man. He knows. We're going to get matching tattoos to commemorate oh, yeah? the Tasty sponsorship. Of Julia. Yeah. <laughs> Of Julie? Yeah, yeah. Why Julie? Because that's what he picked right here. What? <laughs> Rangchu, not going with the hamster. Not the <laughs> hamster. Look at Steve, like. <laughs> Let's go. He made eye know. contact. We had a whole conversation well, right well, there. What did he say, Steve, with the eyes? He said, Steve, I got this. Don't worry about it. Yeah, the Julie pick is what I need here. Uh-huh. But um, I can tell you right now. Julie is one of those characters that deals with Kazumi very well. Okay. Um, she can get in. Party Crash is one of those things that can get in. Uh, wall carries very, uh, very well. Um, Julia doesn't have that good of lows, but it can still keep you honest. And they're fast Four. enough to combat Kazumi in that up close range. Let's see. I think the problem with Julia against Kazumi is going to be magic more. But we'll see. It's not really talking style. It's more of the poke style, right? Oh, running two. Uh huh. Nice. Oh, okay. That's what I was talking about with those lows. Like I Yo, said, man. Thank you. Damn it. Yeah. Uh huh. Ah. Okay. Damn, that was good, man. Here comes Take. That forward three whip point finds the wall with it. Tiger. Bow and arrow on. Wake up. All right, Rangju. We don't need no hamsters anymore. <laughs> He's an ex hamster player. An ex hamster player. <laughs> Running to his block. You see what I'm talking about? That party crush, you have to respect it. Right there. If you whip anything, Julia gets in, and that's exactly what I was talking about. And that's one of the problems when you fight Kazumi. A lot of characters cannot get in. She can space you out with that down 4-1. You, you can see Take taking his time. He's second guessing doing it. Yeah, it's obviously very hard to stop Julia from approaching. Magic is, 4, magic you called four. it. It's gonna be what he needs here in this matchup. Right now, he's looking pretty good. But gotta watch out. Julie has raised Bonero. Nope, launch punishable. Drop, drop it, it on him. Tiger drops, baby. One round, round apiece. Three. Fight. Party crash all day? Oh, yep. And now you can see Take reconsidering it. He's playing back a lot further now. This is not where Kazumi excels at. She needs to be in that down 4 1, that magic 4 range. Gets the flash punch combo. Running two. But that's going to be the way back oh, out. That's boy. done. That's Pick done. It up, baby. 
two rounds to one. Gets the counter hit, gets the pick up because of it. Rang Chu. Two rounds to one in his first game. No. Good punish this time around. That was a really big test there. It's like, oh, come on, you know about this. And look at how Rang Chu is pushing Take to this wall. Yeah. Oh. Magic Board trade that time. So no oh, combo. Nice. Not a duck. The wall's in the way. Not a big damage. Tony. Not a single big damage. Uh-oh. Take has the wall, and that's when you see those those down four ones come back out. Take is trying oh, to play one arrow. Face. Yep, guaranteed. You wow. gotta hold that. Jeez. I told you he looked at me. He was like, yo, I got it. He let me know. He legit looked me in the face. He said, yo, Steve, don't worry about it, man. All right, so let's see. About the conversation. I don't even drop. <laughs> now I'm wondering. Now you see Take taking the stage into account right now. I don't know. I personally, I probably would have went to an endless stage, but that does not stop Julia from getting in in this matchup. It really does not. I feel like at any stage with Walls versus Julia in this matchup is trouble for Kazumi. Not Take, but for Kazumi. I agree completely. I mean, this stage is one of the longest sections, but you know Julia's going to make it no problem. Dude, she has some of the best wall carry in the game. Mm -hmm. They're running 2 1 ender. Like, yeah. yeah. So here we go. Game two amplifies Rangju. Up 1 0 against Yamasa's Take. Fight. One more to make it into top eight. I like that cancel right there. And Take's freezing up. You can definitely jab on reaction, but just freezing up because you're not sure. Okay. Last punch combo. Or the punish that time. Oh. Shredder's no go. And now you see Take taking it a little sore this time around. That full crouch three finds its mark. Julia gets out of the corner. What a duck. Both of these guys one hit away from going into rage. That's going to be a launch and the round if played correctly. Take putting yeah, one you know, on the board this time. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Opportunity for no three. And Rangu is going to be really fast with those bone arrows. He's catching Take off guard. But I feel like Take is adjusting to it right now. And that right there, that's one of the tools that's always going to get her in. Oh, I like the attempt there. Oh. Talking. What a step. And once again, just right back out with that 4-4-1. Running two. Oh. Looking for a button right there with the down jab. There's that down 4-1 once again. Take getting comfortable against Got the wall. Him. Pick it up. Oh, that's it. Uh, yeah, 4-4-2-1. One round of peace in the second game. Trying to get to that top eight. Amplifies rank you. Oh, I like it. One, two, two. Oh, once again, he's just closing that distance so fast. It's not giving Take a chance to react. Yeah, he's picking it up too, right? He's not just constantly approaching. And now pulling the trigger on the bow and arrow, just giving him the bow. No arrow. Magic four of her own. Now look at this carry. You're definitely hitting the wall. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, uh, Big uh, uh. Look at that, just so hard to stop Julia from getting in. All right, there's a chance. If she's still in reach, get off of me. I like the attempt, but man, Taki's in a bit of trouble here. Can he find a lawn somehow? The party crasher is going to be a problem to close out the round. He needs a magical, he needs a magical way more, but right now it is set point for rank two. The fact that he's doing that move is really fast. Uh, doing magic four at that range is really dangerous. Gets the counter hit this time around, though. He will break the wall. The tiger. Uh-uh. Yeah, I love that kick. It reminds me of, like, uh, Tekken 4 Lee. Tekken 4 Lee uh, Shredder kick. Oh, I know what you're talking about, yeah. Marcus got a Jinpachi kick. Ah. I like that. Bow and arrow's good here. Oh, counter, counter hit. That's oh, you huge. might be dead. You might be dead because that's definitely be dead, the wall. That's going to the wall. You know uh, what it is. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, 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 bang, bang, uh, bang, dead. Oh, Rangju going to the top eight. Well, I'll be. Take. Finally, somebody put a stop to Take. This man was actually on the tip. <laughs> Yo, guys, make some noise for Take. This dude has been playing ridiculous. Ridiculous. The entire day. It's been a lot of Tekken that's been played, too. Yes, so you know these guys are tired. Your mind's got to be fried at some point, right? I mean, I feel like we've been playing for 12 hours. <laughs> it's got to be about that long now, right? Oh, most we're, definitely. We're almost down to the top. We're almost there. we got three more matches, Steve. Three more matches. 
to see who the rest of our top eight is going to be. Amplify ranked to the first one into the loser side of the top eight. Look, man, it's getting dangerous. He didn't even need Panda to do it. Pulled no out to Julia. No Pulled out the, the hamster. No hamster. Well, I hope you guys are enjoying it at home. This is Rev Major 2019. Rip Tasty Steve on the mic. Mm -hmm. And you're watching twitch.tv slash Tekken. Points are on the line, ladies and gentlemen. And these guys are trying to get them if they want to go to the Tekken World Tour Finals. We're getting a lot closer to it. Speaking of, tickets are still available yes, for preferred seating here in Bangkok, Thailand. I mean, if you need to know when, was the 7th, 8th of December? December 7th and 8th, exactly. Check it out on uh, that uh, the ring stage, the final ring stage, if you really need to know those dates. But I'm <laughs> looking forward to seeing you guys all mm -hmm. there. There's been no Tekken World Tour that has let me down when it comes to hype matches as well as the players there and that is the lcq so you know the finals are going to be ridiculous you don't want to miss it come join us live in thailand that's basically where we're at <sighs> well, it's going to be good and you've seen the arena too yeah that's definitely true that arena looks ridiculous it actually looks crazy amsterdam looked ridiculous as well so i expect nothing less as we're going to take one more look bangkok thailand december 7th through the 8th you see the link right there twt finals 2019.eventbrite.com tickets still available you got questions they're answered on tekkenworldtour.com make sure you guys get some tickets yes sir but before we continue with our final match of the day, we have to take a short break. Don't go anymore. Don't go anymore. Don't go anywhere. Three more matches to determine everything. With the topic, you scratch that up, man. Whatever. I, I'm tired, Steve. Let's go to break. We'll be back in a second. Don't go anywhere. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back for the final three matches of the day, live from the Philippines Rev Major 2019 Tekken World Tour Master Event. My name is Mark. I'm here with Tasty Steve, mm, and we're about to find out who will be making it out into the loser side of our top eight, and we have quite the matches coming up, Steve. Look, I see a high musician coming up on the stage. On top of that, all sign is switch clothes, so I know he's getting in comfortable mode. He's trying to get to that top eight for real, for real now. Yeah. I think one of the surprises, too, and I'm sure a lot of people can agree, is the level of play and oh, the yeah. wild style of eye musician, visual eye candy, and what he's been doing on the big stage to some of the best players in the world, trying to fight for this qualification spot in our top eight. He has been playing out of his mind. Look. The fact, I've said this all day, that damage increase across the board gives him, that character, a lot. But you saw what it did for him. You saw him defeat double to stay alive in the tournament, but now he's got another large order in front of him. That's going to be Fate's Osan, and he has been playing well, too. Pulled out the Bob earlier today. Oh, yeah. And again, this is going to be big because, as you mentioned many, many times before, points are on the line. This could be a big tournament for one of the hopefuls for our Tekken World Tour World Finals that's gonna be happening in December. So again, this could be big. This could help secure or, you know, kind of guarantee a spot for one of the many players here that is qualified already in our top eight. But we're not there yet. We got three more people that we gotta make sure that we get in there for tomorrow, which is gonna be our finals event here at Rev Major. Let's see, the question is, looks like he's hovering over Dragonov. That might be who Wilson will be using here. Yoshi. We already know that I Musician is going to be using Yoshi Mitsu. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Now I want to see why Dragonov. I want to see why Dragonov. I feel, I, I have a, a rough idea, but I'm, I'm curious to see what's going to be the go-to. What's going to be the tools that slows down a character like Yoshi Mitsu and a player like I Musician. Yeah, and you know what the thing is, like, I kind of explain this to everybody. It's like Yoshimitsu is one of those characters where you can't really have a solid game plan against because for Yoshimitsu himself, it's always up to the player. Oh, and yeah. every Yoshimitsu player is different. Oh, that's definitely true. And he has one of the largest move lists in the game. So he has a large repertoire of moves to pull from. And if he Round sees that one. you don't know how to deal with one, Fight. the game opens up. Yeah, and he'll do it again. He, he, trust me, he will not hesitate. These guys are starting it oh, off. Nice. The one plus two throw. No break. Alright, he's in the stance. Pulls out the sword, puts it away. Wow, look, he, he's taking his own life and he's getting closer and closer to rage. Yeah, and that's a crazy thing too. It's like he can activate rage, he can start playing evasive. He likes to, you know, kind of pull out the baits here and there. Let's see what he does here. Yo, right. the invisible sword's bad. That's the what you gotta watch out for those, man. Invisible swords, those are dangerous. Alright. Again, the bait and switch. Using that Trying to get him in there. Definitely making him a lot more base. You see Osan. Oh, wow. And oh, wow. Good punish, though. But, you know. Uh-oh. Get off of me. KO. 
nice down forward one able to close it out but you know well, he's been getting away with so many setups for right. unblockables whether it's a tech roll catch whether it's something right by the wall he Full knows the optimal range for his character he is a true master of Yoshi okay other way oh Caddy corner combo is gonna get the wall again. Yeah, still able to capitalize on it. Ulsan with a nice combo now. Kind of in the open stage part right here. Gonna have to be careful though. Oh, neutral jumps. I feel like that's an actual mix up with Yoshimitsu. Oh yeah, he has such a strong from ground game as well. It's always gonna be scary. He goes with the oh. dragonfly throw. One mix up here, what's it gonna be? Oh, oh it's an unblockable. Are you serious? He caught him looking at it. Yeah, and on top of that, you can tell. Dragon off definitely needs to get a lot closer to get that game started if it's not running too. Yeah, he's we were talking about how Wilson is, you know, he's such a sharp player. But how does that factor when you don't know what's coming at you? Because right now he is seemingly getting hit by like everything that I've been throwing at him. Wow, gets a re-wall splat. Could have made something happen right there. Yeah. Okay, good punish there. Trying to keep the pressure, has him at the wall. Oh no, great. Wilson's been landing a lot of throws here in the matchup so far. Oh, slidey. Get off of him. Having another. Oh, oh. you know what, what that oh, is. Anytime you, know you see him is. turning at you, don't let Yoshimitsu get turned. Oh my gosh. And the fear of the suicide made him move around. Just clipped at the tail end. I musician takes that first game. Yeah, he was controlling the flow just because of the fear of that move itself. Oh man, that's rough. Olson's gonna have to make some adjustments. You, again, you gotta factor in stamina. You know, a lot of people have been playing here for over 12 hours. Here. It's been a long day for a lot of these players. Oh, there's the Kazumi switch. All right, looks like he is going to be making the switch here. Kazumi Mishima. Tournament life on the line right now. And spinning as your as the stage. You switch characters, you lose the option to pick that stage per TWT rule. Yeah, we've been seeing a lot of the, I guess the mind games going into that. A lot of people feeling confident in, you know, obviously their control of the, the matchup, their movement, picking open stages. And th we've seen that a lot, especially from the Korean players. Oh, yeah. Right. Like I said, I've only recently started caring about the stage, right? I was like, man, I might need to not go to a wall stage this time around versus Paul, you know? Oh, yeah. Round Anyways, going to start it off again. Fun. I Musician is up 1-0 right now. Yeah. Can't count him out yet, of course, this guy. Is a monster of a player. Nice flash punish. Into the crowd crash and the follow up with the blockable. He has landed at so many times throughout the set here. Oh, yeah. Drop it off. I think the only option you have out of that is to actually roll forward. But that's such an unconventional way to escape things, right? No, that's definitely true, man. It's, it's, but it's pretty risky, right? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Go to the sidestep attack. A bait again, again for another flash. Let's see what he does here. Oh, he held forward that time. Does it change the outcome? Round number one, yeah, game number two, I lose it. Fight. I mean, he has layers to this. He's like, oh, you escaped this time, you're not gonna escape this time. Rainbow oh. throw. Skittles. Yep, taste the rainbow. Again, just brandishing the sword, kind of threatening him here. Nice. Drop it. And I feel like just the matchup and the way that Ivy is playing is kind of making Ulsan hesitant to attack here. Oh, oh yeah. man, because what the punish. Because of that right there. You do not want to get caught by Flash. He delayed it slightly that time. Able to capitalize again. What a setup there. That Flash combo setup does so much damage. And look at that. Stopping the drive. Yo, this dude, I musician, is actually going, getting closer and closer to this top eight with Yoshimitsu. But Ulsan's not out of it yet. Man, watching Yoshimitsu fight to that drop just freaked me out, man. He was moving around all yeah, he's like all weird, man. I don't like the way he's looking at me. All right. Again, going back to the game plan here. Switching to the back turn stance. And the thing is, you can't really leave him alone because he's going to regain some of his health. Uh, and you he have to make that. an approach here. He uses that as a way to pressure you into coming forward. Yeah, it's like you pressure somebody without even being close to them. And that's the crazy thing. Yoshimitsu has this very unique style where you can't leave him alone. You have to be at him. But that's what he wants you to do. And he's using it to get away as well, right? Oh. All right, three, two into the tiger drop. Now having the lead here. But again, this is where I use it. Tends to shine is when he has access to the rage drive. Breaks the normal throw. Slide is blocked. Didn't commit to it. Into the flash. Not going to land anything in the tiger uppercut. 
round All right, four. first round that we've seen on the board Fight. for Olsan right now. Yeah, Olsan actually needs the next two rounds. I'm musician on same point. All right, nice one. He doesn't knock down. It's uh, the adjustment here from season three. They're going to give us one more. Ah, oh, he got him. Straight up ran up on him and shanked him in the side. So much range on that unblockable, dude. And again, just creating this space, creating this opportunity right now. Look at that. He's not slightly in between these reps. So far away, making you commit to coming in. Wow. What a call out right big. there. That was really big here. One so run up here. Oh, oh he it. had no sword, so he's going to get the full combo. What kind of mix-up are we going to get? Oh, he went for it. And out of range. Oh, oh wild gosh. standing three, able to take it. I musician moving on into our top eight. With a quick 2-0 versus old sign. Guys, make some noise for I musician. He's going on to that top eight. And of course, we got to give it up for Korea's fate, Ulsan. Tying for ninth place here at Rev Major. Man, he is making Yoshimitsu look like a monster. Yeah, like a god. Yeah, that's definitely true. Kimba. Oh, oh no, this match, too. This is another crazy match. Is it, is it the matchup that I think? Are we going to have a battle between two Jin players? I don't know. I just, maybe. Maybe. There's two matches Chikorin, left. But what if Chikorin was saving the geese? Maybe. I feel like that's something that you might have to do now, especially with the way, you know, characters have been adjusted. That's they want to save it. They want to save the juice. They don't want to, you know, peak too early because, you know, a lot of people have their eyes on the prize, but, you know, Chikorin's one of those players that is, is pretty sitting pretty comfortably points-wise. Yeah, that's definitely true, and I feel like that's all part of his strategy as well, right? Pulling the gin out this time around, keeping the geese in the garage until, you know, he oh, wants yeah. to stunt Here, a little bit, Here, go fix the right? car, man. You, you take a day off. <laughs> no sick pay for you. So, of course, Cherry Berry Mango is definitely going to use gin. Yeah. But what is Chikorin going to pick? That's the question. That's the name of the game. Of course, you guys are tuning in. Second World Tour, Rem Major. This is a master event. Twitch.tv slash tech and spread the word. We are down to our final two matches of the day. Jin Oh, we got the Mur. Oh, Jin wow. The Jin Mirror Match. All right. The Jin Showdown. Which one got the better outfit on? That's the question. Oh, wait. Which one did uh, Chikorin pick? I feel like Chikorin always picks the default. Like, yeah. he's either pick red or he's the white He's a story lore kind of guy. Oh, I respect that about him. I'm all about that. Lore costumes are a go. And we're taking it to the Dragons. That's the throwback stage. Of course, if you're a fan of Tekken 5. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got the Michael Murray. And there's the default, like you called it. Yeah. Round one. No, wait. That's a... Oh, wow. I think it was oh, because you picked man. it first. Yeah. yeah. He's probably pissed. Like, you stole my outfit. All right. Give me back my wallet, chase. Oh, counter oh, hit. Back three. Still get the combo conversion and the wall splat. Big damage. Ugh. Half-life. Oh, Savage Sword. Did a lot of damage, did a lot of work at the wall here. Nice readjust here. Oh. Cherry Berry Mango side wall kind of messed it up there. Oh, that move bear. is so good. Oh, yeah, that wall bounce move. Oh, man. The double chamber punch. Yeah. Round two. Got, got two. 15 in the clip and one in the hole. <laughs> you ain't ready for that. About to make somebody body turn cold, man. Oh, oh he was dropping. He's yelling. Tab in late with that punish. All right, he gets him at the wall. Goes for the Savage Axe instead. Chopped away. Oh. Uh-huh. Down for one four on the wall. Back four. That move is so good. Knock down. Push it away. Back to oh, one. Oh, he got to the side. Okay. Back to one. one. So Mangos much Mangos are good. Mangos are good. I like it. Tied up. Fight. Got some dry mangoes right here, actually. With chocolate oh, yeah. on. A oh, four four. Oh, it's the hell sweep, that LLRK. And sometimes you gotta feel it. You gotta go for these instances where you have to take that risk. That hell sweep is such a valuable tool if you can use it in a way where they can't see it. No. Uh huh. Okay. Cherry Bear Mango. Life not on his side this time around. Chickering. Back to the wall, though. Nice parry into the can can kick. Definitely locked and loaded, ready for that. And he's gonna close it out. KO. Dash up gets the back three. That's two Round rounds on the side of Chikorin in this mirror match versus Fight. Cherry Berry Mango. Yeah, Chikorin, you know, he's had such an explosive year uh, for the Tekken World Tour, placing so high, doing so well, representing Japan, really, really putting the rest of the world on notice. Still trying to continue that with the Season 3 adjustments in mind. Oh, that's the end three. 
Man, he is taking it so slow and still able to land a bunch of these hits versus Cherry Berry Mango. Up 4-3. Gets the counter hit this time around. All right, Cherry Berry Mango going to get the wall back to one. No. To take yeah. the evil intent. Uh. Still has it. Look at all that damage. And right now, he does have a slight lead. He's going to get the wall splat here. He might be able to close that out, and he should. Okay, all right. Two rounds of peace in this first game. All right. Keeping it close. Fight. Kind of what we expect of these guys. Very, very strong. Both evenly matched, but this is a big counter hit there. Uh, oh, oh, no, not missed. close enough. Man, that combo is a little harder in this game. A little bit tighter, right? right has him at the wall. Good positioning. Chickering's going to have to be careful. He's starting to sidestep and kind of slide away from the wall. Down back four, up four, two. I like the sidestep. He's trying to keep uh, Cherry Bear Mango back to the wall right now. Yeah, he's kind of stepping with him. He's trying to do the two step. Trying to be in sync, not trying to get hit though. That's the thing, is you gotta be able to step and block in time. Four, three. Oh, oh second oh, hit. Uh -oh. Good break there on the command draft. But a sliver of life left in the red. Oh, he went for the blockable? What was going on? That there? was an accident. He looked down at his stick really quick. Soon as he got it, Cherry Berry Mango up a game right now. Oh, yeah. Are they going to rematch? I think that's what they might have done. I don't know, did I hear a, uh, nope, they're, they're going, going right, right back, back to the mirror forward. match. No geese, huh? Oh, all right. Round and again, one. this is loser's bracket action. Only one of these players will make it into our top eight. Loser of the match will be tied for ninth. A respectable ninth place. All right, there's that hop kick. Mm, down for one four to stop the movement. Nice block. Hop kick after the sidestep. All right, Chickory. And to carry that one three out of Zen. Oh, gets the counter hit. Oh, two four on the wall. All right, Chickman trying to bring it back. Round yeah, looking two. really good, of course. Fight. Another opportunity here. Able to get that kind of step there, but not able to get any launch out of it. Answers with that four four three. Yeah, still pressuring. I mean, it's not as good as it used to be in the prior season, but still a safe move. Oh, safe nonetheless. Four. He's been getting clipped. I think he's trying to move in between. A lot of the second hit chances are landing here for Cherry Berry Mango. Oh, this time getting a clean sidestep on it. Yeah, not reading some of these screens properly and getting hit because of it. Oh, Cherry Berry Mango. All right. Oh, wait. Cherry Berry Mango. One round. One round. He's keeping it close. Went 2 2 in that last match, and now we're one round apiece in the second. Oh, counter hit. Ready with the combo. One, two, four. Looked out right there. Still lands the full combo, gets him at the wall here. Cherry Bear Mango's gonna have to be careful, but he's fighting out of the corner. Here we go. Yeah, tries to get a hop kick, gets floated out of the air with that down 4 1. Small combo conversion. Again, that double chamber punch you were talking about, that's so lethal if he's able to land it. Uh huh. Oh, really close to this wall right now. Oh, no break on the tidal wave. Follow up here, we got an OK, we're gonna get nice down 4, able to close it out. Chicker in. Looking round to tie it up here. Potential final round here in match number two. This is what we saw last game, though. This is exactly what happened last game. Yeah. It's all about who's going to be able to pull away. Oh, uh, the this down time. Uh, twin lamps. What's I mean, a great call out right now by Chicker. It's so close between both of these players. They know the character. They know each other's tendency so well. Uh oh, big counter hit. He could have got a combo on for that one. Oh, hop kick, chicken, and steals it possibly. Uh, uh, uh. And he gets the wall, and he's gonna close it out there with the savage sword and the nice outfit, keeping the chain. He's keeping it. Mock titty. Boy, GMB popping up. Mock titty. All right, one game apiece. He's gonna give him the return favor. They're gonna go back into rematch again. It looks like. Here we go. It's gonna set up, be settled here. Boy, the den of dragons. Round one. And, and this stage Fight. is super small. Jin has pretty good float as well. So. Yeah, he has amazing wall carry and a nice consistent wall ender as well. So any launch here is gonna, he's gonna be able to catch in. Either one of these players can. All right, here comes Chickering going the other way. And his new extension, but bam uh -huh. uh. Oh, Half-Life. Follows up with the down four. Backing up, giving him a little room to hang himself. Nice block on the down back four though. 
I like what they're doing, making those adjustments, blocking those lows, knowing that have enough time to stand up and punish with the 2-4, get the knockdown. Oh, counter hit. Combo conversion, 1-2-4. Yeah, to get that uh, mental alert and extension is the hard part. Oh, yeah, those two hits, they hit hard at the wall. Oh, oh wall bounce. bounce. Double chamber. Ugh. Whoa, Barry, wait a minute. Here comes Cherry Berry Mango. Yeah, going the other way now. Just short of the wall, but still able to keep the pressure there. And short of rage as well. Yeah, Demon Corpse for us. That move is underrated. Oh, the one, two, four. Cherry Berry Mango trying to swing. Get hit by the four, four, three. This could potentially put him on set point right now versus Cherry Berry Mango to get into this top eight. I feel like we saw this last time, though. Chikorin coming out to a lead. Cherry Berry Mango can't count him out. Did the start of the 10 string there. Oh, while rising attack. Not looking good right now. Not looking good for Cherry Berry Mango. Yeah, be careful right now. Chikorin having the space advantage here. Keeping his opponent back to the wall. A lot of nice pokes to make sure he stays on it. He's not, he's not taking a risk. He's not really throwing anything out here. Oh, double up. First you don't succeed, do it again. The down four. Cherry Berry Mango in a lot of trouble. And the down four to close it out. Chikorin's going to move on to that top eight. Guys, make some noise for Cherry Berry Mango. Illusions, Cherry Berry Mango. One of the premier gen players in the world. I was, look man, I was telling Pot Spice that like he's one of the guys that I've been watching from Jump. I've been a gen player for a very long time. Oh yeah, you look like a gen player. What does that mean? Doesn't matter what it means, I can tell. Oh, you see you like to look at your arm randomly? That's what gen players do, right? At the start of the round. They have like, to, man. They talk to their hand. Too much power, That's Steve. Definitely, too, much power. too much power. You're right, Mark, man. Anyways, <laughs> last match to get into this top eight is going to be last year's champ, John Dean, going up against Chanel, UIU versus Rocks Dragons. This is going to be quite the matchup because we saw John Dean, he battled throughout an entire wave of enemies throughout the entire day, having very, very close matches. The last match we saw him, uh, he was up against Vermillion, and he played that very nice set. But now he's going to go up against another beast in Chanel. But the question is, who is Chanel going to pick in this particular matchup? We know uh, for Junding, he's been rocking Eddie most of the time. We haven't really seen him pull out the Lucky Chloe too much in succession in the tournament. No, that's definitely true. I feel like he kind of gauges it, right? Like, if yeah. he knows exactly like what the matchup is, he's like, all right, I'll play one or the other. And sometimes it's been Chloe. But the Eddie is the breadwinner here. Eddie has gotten John Ding so far. We saw that last match. John Ding is the character to go to. However, they virtually ha they did the virtual handshake just Ghost now. Hugs. This is weird. No, look, man, Chanel is he wants to make sure the germs, right? He's already wearing we got the, the mask, mask right? All right, guys, last match of the day to get into top eight. One of these two players will have a chance to battle out for all the points that are on the line tomorrow, but also for the coveted title of World, uh, Rev Major Champion. We'll see mm -hmm. who's going to be able to take it or have a chance of taking it, and we're taking it to the Hammerhead stage. Final fantasy. <laughs> Final fantasy. I like the icons in the background for the side missions. Oh man, pull out the, the rabbit bunny girl robot outfit. Oh why? This outfit is actually sick. Low Perry to start it off. Back through here to get the jump. Gonna get the wall. Nice combo to start it off here, but again now back to the walls. You have to be careful, you know. Sidestepping is, is, is kind of like the weakness that Eddie has, but whoa, hey, sidestep attack. That'll work. But look, that's one thing that John Day knows, right? Again, oh, wow. Again, double, double? Cool. Yep. Uh, is that it? Yep. With the perfect to start it off. And John Ding knows that, right? But that's why his movement is so good. Yeah. You have to have good movement. You have to have impeccable spacing. And he's been doing that with Eddie the entire day. Oh, down four and two, floats out. That's a good, that's a good move for John Ding. That could have been dangerous. Here you go, the swipe away again. Going after these lows here, really trying to create opportunities for himself. Not letting Chanel play his normal game. Oh, nice, nice whip punish. Gets the new launcher. Oh, and the wall's flat as well. Goes into chainsaw mode. The stand, nice block, gets the launcher on the wall. Chanel answers back instantly with a ramp. Yeah, and that was just great reactions all around. Able to get that big punish on the slippery kicks. Not letting Junding escape into the relaxed mix-up. 
look at that move by John Jay. And he's still ready with the block, not able to get the punish though. Yeah. Oh, oh, what a duck. This time he does, able to get under the high there. Here's the follow-up, and that does a ton of damage. That last hit, of course, unscaled. Let's see what he's going to do here. Go well, goes for the chainsaw low. Getting closer to that wall. Chanel. Oh, trying to take this round back. Quarter circle 4 3. Still going to get the float. Yeah, and this time pushing at the wall here. Almost had the double splat. Not able to do it, but it doesn't matter. Still has a slight life lead here, Junjing does. Chanel, very cautious with his approach here. Yo, look at the time. 13 seconds left on the clock. Life in favor of John Ding right now. He's in the red. He might be dead. Oh, double slide. Oh, tries to pull out the blue stuff. He says, no, thank you. Yeah. John Ding. Match point in his first game. John the Ding. John the Ding. All right, Rodeo. Off. Hands off the bunny ears. You can't be manhandling a bunny like that. Are you crazy? I still got Halloween coming up. Follow up here. Has him near the wall. This is where uh, the potential is in really Elisa's favor. Let's see if he's able to turn around. Going the other way now. Yeah, big tracking mid right there to try to get that momentum back, and it works out. Chainsaw stand. Oh, oh right wow. over. All right. Not able to capitalize on the whip punish there, but still another opportunity to right now. Chanel with a slight life lead here. Nice punish there, able to close it out here, and we're going to our final round here in match number one. They got a choir singing in the uh -huh. background. That's how you know it's real. That's, that's how you know it's Final Fantasy music, bro. Oh, yeah. Oh, he tries to use that special get up by Alyssa to get out of trouble, but it's not going to work out. John Dang aware of a nice block on the low. And while standing four, not going to do a lot of damage, but enough damage. Chanel still has a chance on sidestep three with a four, but drops the combo. Oh, this is big. He could have he could have closed it out right there. Nice block. Oh, blocks on the raise drive. Goes for the low get off of me. Yeah, one for the rocket throw. Not able to get it right now. Playing solid, John Dean trying to keep Chanel away. Chanel with a sliver of life left. One more hit could do it. Oh man, something's gonna, something's gonna give. You gotta be careful again, going for the grab. Me. I said no, and the low. Get low, get low, get low. John Ding drawing first blood here in the matchup. He is up 1-0 right now. Again, a race to two to decide who will be making it into our top eight. Looks like he is, of course, gonna stick with the Lisa. We got the classic here. Pick the stage with no wall. Uh, you want the space. I'm trying to dance around. This is a ballroom, baby. They want to hear you drop the beat, Steve. That's oh, what yeah. they want. Oh, yeah. I hear it. You know? It's, cra it's crazy. You know, a lot of the top players are here sitting on the sidelines. They're dropping the beat they're alongside with the, you. They're dropping the beat with me. That's why I rocks with the boys, man. They know how I get down. They know these jams are it. Well, this might be the last beat we're dropping today. Let's see if Judding's able to close it out. Rock Dragon Chanel. He's gonna have to turn things around. Let's see if he has what it takes. Now for a 1 1. Great break on the throw right there. And again, Sidestep 3 plus 4 has been doing so much work here for Eddie in the matchup. He's been clipping. Oh my gosh. Good nice punish block. there. Okay. Uh uh. Nice. Yeah, this Sidestep 3 plus 4, 4 is a problem because it's pretty difficult to punish for a lot of the cast. Yeah, a lot of it. Plus, it has such a nice evasive window for a lot of attacks. Oh, oh counter, counter hit. Counter hit, too. Oh, yeah. Look at all that damage. But he has him in rage now. What's he going to do? Uh-oh, what a challenge. Knocks her out of chainsaw mode. Oh, wow. Goes for the mid this time around. And Chanel gets one on the board. Yeah, I like the approach there, you know. Uh, we're talking about, you know, Eddie doesn't have that bet, that good of a sidestep, but he is able to backdash all oh, day. Oh, yeah, he's able to get out of there. Yeah. Good conversion with the wild standing four. Both of these players trying to pick their shots here. Nice, able to close get it off. in. Get off. Why are they trying to grab his bunny ears, man? I don't know, man. Uh oh. It's the, the musician trick, bro. I mean, the magician trick. Oh, Grab it out of the hat. Yep. Able hey, to put the brakes on, though. Junding's actually taking a lot more risk here than I normally see. He's going for a lot of the lows. Yeah, not really not reacting to it. Maybe he's waiting in the low period during clutch moments. Who knows? You can tell he's getting annoyed. Chanel doing a lot of backdash and gets the launch with a down 14. This round could be his to claim two rounds in that second game. Yeah, round actually three. very, very clean rounds there from Chanel. Fight. Chanel maybe oh, might yeah. be able to get a no round round here in match number two. But the beat's about to drop. I'm looking at everyone in the room. You guys better drop it with us. Drop it with me. 
Wah, wah, eh, uh, bah. Bah. Oh, I love you, man. You're so godlike. Ah, uh, tailspin. Ah. Uh. And the follow up here. Looking to continue with the damage. Went for the homing attack. Not able to pull anything out of here. About 35 seconds left on the clock. John Ding trying to claim back this round. He is up a game. Chanel trying to stay alive. Goes in the handstand. But that's a tricky thing, too, because from handset position, he does have a power crush as well. You got to be aware, just in case he decides to pull Oh, it out. that's going to be a combo conversion. Not oh, yeah. sure if that's going to kill, though. It, it might. is. It, it definitely did right there. Okay, so, all right. Two rounds to one. John Ding still fighting to take it here. Nice. The delay. Like I said, man, that side step three plus four is such a good tool for Eddie, man, because it's pretty hard to punish. And again, landing it this time, getting the follow up there. Nice. Got some decent damage out of it. And he has a huge life lead here. All in this round. And defense on point right now. Yeah, he's looking at it. He's looking to take it to a final round. We'll see. He might be able to take his chance here into the top eight. Oh, the low berry. What a guess by Chanel. Still in the game. Rage is active too. This is going to be big. He has an opportunity. There goes the rage drive. Keeping that pressure. Goes for the elbow to counter poke. See Chanel playing back a little further. About 15 seconds left on the clock right now. Yeah, great whip punish though. Running out of time. Now he's in the lead. What's he going to do with Dude. it while rising four? Look Final at that. Final match of the day, ladies and gentlemen. The last match to get us to this top eight. It's gonna be our final countdown here. Which stage are we gonna battle at? Is it gonna be random? Is he gonna pick? Where does he want this to be settled? Oh, the conflict ends here. In Twilight Conflict. Oh yeah. Gives him walls, gives him a breakable balcony. Let's him still get that movement down because he's still gonna be moving like crazy. And you know what the, what's the best part? After all this good tech that we had today, we still have an amazing top eight that we can look yeah, forward to tomorrow night. Yeah, we got a top night. eight that we're trying to fix up for you guys right now. This match is going to determine the last player in that top eight. Will it be last year's champion in John Dering? Or will it be the new Chanel trying to get that spot and potentially claim that championship? We'll see. I mean, it's going to be close either way. Looking at the top eight for tomorrow, it's obviously going to be very, very exciting. With either one of these players, it'd be nice to see either one get into that action. Right Double now. on the low. Okay. It's the follow-up here. Mm, no like the, with uh, the clean hit. Yeah, the approach here from Junting, very, very strong right now. Oh, he got him with the second hit. It wasn't even counter hit, but unexpectedly got hit by it. He wasn't ready. Oh, wow. Trying to go for slip kicks and gets hit. Counter hit on the get-up kick right here. Yeah, he's going to get the wall carry here, the follow-up, went for the big boot, not able to do it, but look at this life lead. Already spins it, and there's the block while standing forward to get the punish. Round two. This is big. Fight. This is big, my friend. John Ding. Bow, bow, bow. Oh, no. And that's another thing. It's really hard for Alyssa to pick up Eddie, even yeah. if he's getting relaxed in some of these situations. Yeah, especially if he does nothing afterwards. If he's doing something, obviously, it'll be easy to get a float. But uh, John Ding knowing better not to do anything there. Got him out of there. Not able to do anything right now. John Ding trying to continue the lead in, of course. Make it into that top eight. There's a punish again. Oh, nice punish circle four three. Yeah, the important thing, he has Alisa back. Oh, Whoa, my he caught God. him. Oh, nice. Uses the unique get-up attack. And now Chanel back in the middle of the stage. And, of course, she's evaporating. Oh, oh my God. Wow. That oh, could have been it. Drop. That definitely could have been it. 15 seconds left on the clock. Goes for the mid out of relax. 10 seconds left on the clock. Running out of time here. And again, a life lead with Jun Ding. Looking to close it out. Goes for the homing attack. The mid. And look at that. Potential set point here. Might be the last stand for Chanel. All right, Chanel needs to do something. Goes in a chainsaw mode. Oh, yeah. And it's so good for Eddie because he has a lot of quick lows he can use to hit you instantly to get you out of chainsaw mode. Nice low parry for Chanel. Has him at the wall. This is a good position to be in. Uh -oh. Oh, just quickly out of there. And trying to keep that corner as well. Oh, that could have been dangerous. Definitely would have gave the wall splat too. Oh, relax. Get off me. Yo, Chanel was ready though. Goes for the slide instead. Things uh -oh. are starting to hit. He's starting to take some liberties here with different pokes. Life lead still in favor, though, of Chanel. We and are Alyssa. running out of time, though. Almost 15 seconds left on the clock. Goes for the up 4-4. Four, four. Yet to be enraged for either one. 
Oh, relax, oh, low parry. Okay, okay, wait a minute. Steel, no rage. There he is, back one plus two. Didn't find his mark, and there goes Chanel. He gets one on the board now. Yeah. Round four. Fight. Good old staying alive, of course. Needs another round if he wants to take it to a final final set. Oh, oh gets wow. A second hit follow up here. Again, going to the load. He is working his magic here. Uh, he might get a perfect. Look at the series from Chanel and the perfect. Final, final round of today, ladies and gentlemen, and see who makes it to this top eight. Let's go. And Chanel starting off strong, getting a float early on, keeping that pressure with the chainsaws. Oh, no. Not a big punish there, but something's better than nothing. Nice block on the low. Goes into relax. Oh, the sidestep. Again, going for the double low and a punish here from Jun Ding. It's a bad ball, man. It could go either way. Back to the wall. Be careful. Oh, no. And just take any small punishes, but the life lead is in favor of Chanel. Shoe shine. Can oh, it's that deep. Saw, and that's it's going up. to be that. Chanel going on in the top eight, but that's going to send John Ding home. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise. UIU's John Ding. And you got to feel for him. You know, John Ding had a long day. He went to losers pretty early on. Didn't make it. He made it to ninth place. But of course, getting more points, it helps. But it would have helped more if he got some points tomorrow. I mean, he did get second yep. at, um, just recently at another. It was a challenge event. But still, points are points. You need those to get into that TWT final. Yeah. And now we have our top eight already set up for you guys. Coming in, what, tomorrow evening? It'll be tomorrow evening, 7.30, I believe, local time here. So again... Pay attention to Twitter. We'll let you guys know what the schedule is going to be. But let's look at some of the matches that we have tomorrow. We got Nobi versus JDCR on the oh. winner's side. We have Gen and Lohai on the other side of the winner's bracket. And, of course, going down into the loser's side, we have Rongchu versus iMusic. Oh, wow. And that's Some the first round loser's match. And then we have Chikorin versus Chanel to round out our top eight. And it is going to be a set of amazing matches tomorrow. But I can't wait. Look, Steve, anything you want to say to the Tekken fans? Look, make sure you guys are here tomorrow if you want to see some good-ass Tekken in its conclusion. This is a master-level event. The competition lets you know just how tough this is. I mean, you saw how many people just fell by the wayside. You, it was so close to Vermillion getting into that top eight, but it's already been set. You can see it on your screen. It's going to be Nobi versus JDCR. Gin versus Lohai, Chanel versus Chikorin on the loser side, I Musician versus Rangchu also on the loser side. And make sure you guys tune in. Twitch.tv slash Tekken will be the place, and these matches are going to be ridiculous. I really hope you guys stay tuned. Make sure you tweet it out. We will see you guys tomorrow. Much love and peace, and thanks for hanging out.